Fly, but I'm not wasting no time. Okay. I got a lot of stuff doing, still a little time. Okay, I'll, I'm getting there to hit you up. Yeah, I'm going to grab you. Just now. Just now. Yeah. All right, let me get my let me get my good housekeeping out the way. We're already live. If you see this video, please share it. I don't know what y'all got going on on your feed. At least you good. Okay, I'm gonna share it again. At least we're live. Tighten up. Okay, I'm big. Yes. So you're you're in New York. You're in the city. You got no, your good. I'm not, I'm not in the city. I'm upstate New York. Oh, bougie! You upstate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you correct me, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you're not—you're not one of them original hood chicks from down in the city. City. Yes, I am. Okay, you can be upstate, but the, the hood's still in you. <laughs> See, I got my name earrings on. I'm hood hood. Oh, you—you you about that life? You really about that life? So, let me get my special announcements out the way. Mm -hmm. If you see this video, please share this. I ain't gonna be on my rah rah. I'm in a good mood, but I'm gonna still give you business. All right, so look, every single week after the show, I always watch the comments. I always read, see what people have to say. Sometimes I can't read it all during the show time because I'm lit and I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the grooves. Mm -hmm. With that being said, you know, we try to share our platform with everybody. We try to show love to everyone. Sometimes, some people be doing too damn much, looking for their moment. Doing too damn much. Mm -hmm. Some, some, some people are just doing being extra. I, I don't need. Um, I'm a little pissed with some people. Um, I want to salute you for first. I'm gonna say Lavelle. Lavelle, I appreciate you. You've been sharing videos since the day you've been rocking with us here. You know, I definitely appreciate you. I really do. He does. Um, Aunt yeah. Viv, I'm gonna go her Aunt V. I'm being, let me tell you, I'm tell you, you're very supportive. I really feel it. Um, don't get in your feelings. I'm in show mode. Your daughter now? I don't know. But um, you came in just lit, lit, lit. Look, you stand Thank out. You. You're memorable. You take it to an another level. Thank you. I appreciate you sharing the comments. I appreciate you helping promote the show. I Thank really you. appreciate that. I appreciate you know, the show. Look, I think, um, and I'll just say to Charlene and Elise, we, um, you already know how I feel about y'all. That goes out being said. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's the goal out being said. A couple of y'all other ones, if y'all don't got no love to this show, you ain't gonna hurt my feelings. I ain't gonna lose no sleep. But um, <laughs> if y'all support me, if you support us, thank you. If not, I see you still on watching. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so got all that good housekeeping out. Look, we got all that good housekeeping out the way. I'm remind y'all, there's still the Marty A. Johnson show. There's other platforms out uh oh, it's oh. Why do you keep freezing? Up here, hi y'all. Hi other platform members. Um, um, well, also, sometimes you gotta let people know that, right? That's a fact. Yeah, That's a fact. It's not. It's not bragging. Sometimes you gotta say that. Sometimes people will inbox me say, "How come you didn't have X Y Z on your show?" I said because um, I, you know, what you call? It? I said, yeah, I paid the way for her. And him, they've been on my show first. They know who they are. That's why they ain't gonna say nothing. Right. Now, nah, but before people try to um before people try to shit on the Marty A. Johnson show, I wanna let y'all know I got receipts for days. So come correct or stay ass to the next one. Moving on. So look, so look, we got to get lit. We're about to get lit. If you got that art music, I want y'all to tap him in my inbox. I'm gonna start it off right. We got a national recording artist. Her name's Shawnee. She's already here. What? <laughs> she's she's already already here. Yes, Shawnee. Yay. Shawnee. Yay. Shawnee. Shawnee is already here. He said, so, Charlotte, Shawnee, you guys, not Charlene. Not Charlene. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. Let me, um, she is, like I said, um, I get my nice introduction ready for her. Got my, my notes. So look, if you got your stuff in your background, turn it off. 
Otherwise, you. otherwise, I'm gonna put you in the waiting room and I'm gonna say bye. I see you in the comments. But look, <laughs> look, if you want to talk to Sharnice, uh, feel free to call me at 1 627 8990. Remember, it's a live show. We're gonna let her in. Y'all ready today, huh? Yes. Let me bring her in. Yeah. Why is she getting it together? Let me give a nice introduction of her why she's getting it together. Well, this young lady. Yes. She is one of the best entertainers I know. She um she been dazzling uh, she been dazzling us for many, many, many years. But little fun fun facts about her. She has been um she paved the way for a lot of female singers. Um, I'm giving her my virtual hugs and roses because um, I love her because um, from, from my era, she was one of the first females I know that used a first name basis before, before Tamia, before Brandy, Aww. before Monica, before, 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 before the late great Aaliyah, this was this person right here. Um, mm -hmm. She was also... She was also one of the first females that gave me my first start when I started out in the business. She um, took time out. She, she didn't know me from a can of paint. <laughs> she, took, she took time out, said, let me go talk to this boy real quick. But look. That's what's up. Right. It helped change my life, so I definitely appreciate that. Also, also she's, I'm going to you some fun facts about her because she does not get the credit that she deserves. I can go on and on, but she is a Broadway star. She is a award-winning act actress. For those that's for a particular age grown, she's on a KFC commercial. Some people know that. I, know I know that. From Star Search. I definitely know that. <laughs> and also, pause. Um, an another fun thing about her is um, she helped create some of the biggest hits for some of our favorite artists, wow. including Unbreak My Heart. Thank her. She's singing background. Also, don't forget Bedtime by Usher. She was helping doing some of the stuff too. Oh, and we can keep it today. Chris Brown was inspired by her too, doing some of her stuff, her music. But I don't want, I don't want to talk about some other artists because she has her own hit singles also. Mm -hmm. One of my personal favorites is Turn Down the Lights. We got Loving You. We all we all talk about that later. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later. Also. We all know the worldwide hit. I love y'all smile. Y'all give it up for my good friend Shanice. She got her yeah, record show. How are you? Hi. Welcome, Shanice. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. Can I tell you something? I already yeah. knew. I'm gonna tell you what I said. I said, I already know Shanice gonna have the dopest hairstyle when she comes on. I already know that. Oh, this is some braids. I said, um, I said, I already know she gotta look how to get a little button up for you today. Cause um a lot of people don't know you're a legend. You mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. Um Thank don't you. don't call the comeback. She's been around for years. For years. But look, <laughs> yeah. don't call the comeback. No, but um, well, look, we're gonna get all it into it. Look, she's early. I like that. We need to do oh, gosh, am, I too, am I too early? I'm so sorry. No, no, no you're good. You're good. You're I was good. so confused. I was no, like, right not at 7 30 or 8. But then I saw online it said 7 30, but I was told 8, but I was like, oh my gosh. I don't know. I was confused. No, no, no. no. <laughs> for those that's late for the Marty A. Johnson show, we got the Grammy nominated platinum voice singer, Miss Shinies. She's here. We're going to talk in, in a little bit. But no, um, the show starts at seven thirty. You know, I had to do my little monologue and stuff. But look, oh, I stopped. No. Look, I stopped all that. that. I stopped all that. You ain't going Stop nowhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No. no, you, you are fine. So look, um, first I want to say thank you again because um, on on my new season, what I like to do when I have like legends and superstars on the show, I like to have new artists, entrepreneurs, some fans. People that are inspired by you because I like to let them see some of the, the greats. And you want oh, thank you. First, where are you at right now? Are you in LA? I yeah, we live in California. So yeah. it's it's crazy because it's so cold. Like you would think I was back east right now. It's freezing today and it's so windy. 
Wow. The weather is really crazy right now, but yeah. I'm from Pennsylvania. I mean, that is not cold. You should be used to <laughs> I'm not from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I moved right. to California. I moved to California when I was eight years old. Okay. So I grew up in California, but I still claim East Coast. <laughs> right. That's all day. From. Okay, dear. <laughs> all day. <laughs> so look, before we talk about the good stuff and all that, well, sure. Um, how are you and your family? Cute family, by the way. Very cute hey. family. Um, hey, how are y'all making out with the pandemic and all that? How are y'all making out? You know, you know, we're, we're, we're getting through it. Um, Flex always loves, he loves music. So what we did was, and this actually helped us, um, he used to DJ online like once a week. Mm -hmm. And then when a pandemic happened, um, we had, uh, Flex said, you know, I want to DJ tonight. It was the day that they said we had to be locked down. And we just started doing it like every like three days a week. And I'm telling you, mentally, it just helped us take our minds off of exactly. what was going on in the world. And even the people that logged on said, thank you so much, because, you know, music is therapeutic and it's helping us, you know, Absolutely. forget about our, our worries. And, you know, so we did that for like almost a year we were doing that. And um, so that helped us. And just, you know, um, the good, there's like good and bad about the pandemic. The bad, the, the, the good thing is that it's bringing families together. Absolutely. Like now we have time to actually sit down at the table and have dinner together, yes. watch movies, you know, so we're spending more time together than we did. Um, but the sad thing is that we're losing so many people. I lost an aunt of mm, mine just sorry. passed away from coronavirus. Sorry to hear that. So, yeah, it's yeah. been really tough, really mm -hmm. tough. But um, I've been taking a lot of herbs and a lot of vitamins and just trying to keep my immune system strong and wearing my mask, you know, social distancing. I'm doing everything we're told to do so to keep us safe. Your time is on your side. You still look like the first album. You look oh, good. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> more you look like the You look excellent. And moisturizing for real. <laughs> you moisturize and everything. You get like that excellent. herbs and everything. Oh, I love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> so look, let's, let's, let's have a good talk today. So look, I know you're home. Look, you're flexing with the, you're flexing over You've got all your plaques and all that. I'm, I'm glad you got a nice little background and all yeah, that. Some of my plaques, yeah. <laughs> look, I don't want to go, I don't want to go too far back in time. We all know about the cute album. We all know about the Discovery album. We know about the Inner Child album. Let me just say, side note, see, she is a real entertainer because Correct me if I'm wrong. Shanice never had a nine to five. She never punched a clock. This is her, this is her career. This is her real career, her jump yes. start. Yes. I started in the business. Um, well, my mom put me on stage for the first time at three years old because my mom has had a group. And um, my mom was singing while she was pregnant with me. So when I came Miss out- Crystal. Yes. So when I came out at seven months, I was singing Tell Me Something Good by Shaka Khan. And no. I couldn't talk, but I was singing. Mm -hmm. And so then at the age of three, my mom put me on stage for the first time and I loved it. And then by the time I was eight years old, we left Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, moved to California. Okay. When we got to California, I told my mom, I want to sing because my mom moved here so that she could pursue her singing career. And then um, she immediately found me an agent. I went on my first audition in, uh, for Kentucky Fried Chicken, uh, the Kentucky Fried Chicken commercial, and I got the part to scat with Ella Fitzgerald when I was like eight or nine years old. You probably, you know, you like, you was a kid, you probably like, Ella Fitzgerald, okay. Probably everyone's I like, you don't know who this is, right? Yeah, when I was a kid, I didn't know who she was. My mom, everybody was jumping up and down, excited. They're like, she's a legend. And right. they were so excited. And then um, after I got the, the part, my mom started playing her music for me. And I just fell in love with her voice at a young age. Mm -hmm. And then um, when I shot the commercial with her, she was so down to earth and so sweet. And she couldn't believe that I could scat at eight years old. <laughs> she was so like, her eyes got big, like, whoa. And then after I did the commercial, I started doing stage plays and musicals and I won Star Search uh, when I was 11 what, years back old. Back then, $5,000, you rich back then, huh? Okay. Yeah, for us, <laughs> look, we had, we had no money. Like my mom literally, when we moved to California, she found a couch out of the trash can that we sat on because we couldn't afford to buy a couch. So when I won okay. Star Search, $5,000 was like $5 million, right. you know, mm -hmm. for us. 
So mm -hmm. I'm one star search. And then after that, I did a play called Get Happy. Get Happy was like, it was about the music of Harold Arlen. He wrote Some of the Rainbow and all the Wizard of Oz songs. Um, so I sang Some of the Rainbow in the musical. And John McClane, who was um, the executive over at AM Records, came, he heard about me, came to hear me sing, and then signed me right away when I was 11 years old. So that's when I signed to AM. I was 11 years old. And then my first album was released when I was 14 because it was so hard finding a direction for a kid. You know, so over the years, it took that long to find the right direction. But I did, the first producer I went in the studio with was Tina Marie. So I, I got to work with Tina who produced me when I was 11 years old. So that was a great start for me. Right. I worked with New Edition, Tina Marie. Like I had some great songs, but the label felt like they wanted to go in another direction. So they switched it up. And then I went in with John, um, um, Brian Loren. He did, he produced and wrote my entire first album. When I was At the time, wasn't um, using on A&M Records? Is that the time um, Janet was on the same label as you? Yeah, I was signed, the guy who signed Janet signed me. Yeah, to a &M. Okay, hold on, I'm nosy. This between us. Did she have a baby back then for real? Was it a baby? Oh, I don't know. You think about okay. that? <laughs> Oh, no. I'm, I'm being honest. Like, I'm just, okay. I'm being honest. That's I'm the rumor back then. Look, I'm if she did, I know nothing continue. about it. If she did, it was hidden from me because I didn't know nothing about it. <laughs> look, I think I think you know me by now. I'm nosy, but go ahead. <laughs> no, I didn't see a baby. I didn't see a baby. She looked pregnant baby. in the picture with you, but go ahead, continue. <laughs> Wow. Whoa. Oh my God. So yeah, we were both signed to this to the same uh label, um, and &M records um in the eighties. I came out, I think uh my album came out in 87. I think control came out in 86. Um, so yeah, we were like back, it was like back to back. <laughs> but no, I never I never seen a baby, so I don't okay. know. Look, <laughs> I don't I know. look, because um you'd be more in my receipts. So on this show, I gotta have receipts. Because um, because um, I know you're mad. I know um, when I reached out to your team tomorrow, you want to do a phone interview? I said, uh, Chinese knows I need receipt. I need a video call. I said she'd be all right. And she said absolutely. But um, during the time, like I said, it was a gr great album. Um, when you look back at that first album, um, were you pleased with it? You know, going back and forth, they didn't know. I ain't gonna say what to do with. They didn't know what to do with the material. Were you pleased with with that? With the whole overall direction of um, Discovery album? Was you pleased? With overall results, or you just so young, you just happen to be singing. You know what? Honestly, I was so young. I was just so excited to be singing, so excited to be in the studio. Um, I did love the songs that they didn't use. Um, but Brian Loren, you know, I love my first album. I think he did an amazing job with each song. I mean, he literally, like, he played every instrument on the songs. He wrote every song. He he vocal produced it. He did everything i thought he did a great job so okay now i'm going to going to the second album. everyone loved the second album i was like you got more albums than that so do you feel we all um i love your smile that was you know huge that was the first single correct yes that was first the first single. single on the inner child album yeah the inner child so yes, you can be, you, the look i did something you can speak no english you can be in japan hong kong um in the What happened? He uh oh, he froze. Tell Marty he got to pay that. Um, you pay can be in the suburbs. You can get, <laughs> you know, promo I did for you. Guess what? As you notice, it was it was um, no vocals. Soon you hear the music, we knew it was you. Right. Real catchy. Because did you really get the um? Do you really get the monetary benefit of it? Number one all over the world. Do you see the monetary end of it when you was touring with that album? With the, the big album, the second album? You know what? I did not, uh, I didn't <laughs> want I Love Your Smile to be the first single, first of all. I just gotta okay. tell y'all the story. I co wrote the song. From, we got all the time in the world. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead, you can tell it. Go ahead. Yeah, I co wrote I, co -wrote I Love Your Smile with Nard Michael Walden and his team. And um, he, he asked me to write down a bunch of titles for songs, and I wrote I Love Your Smile. 
because I used to get teased a lot in school because kids said, why do you smile all the time? You're always smiling. So oh. I wanted to write a song that oh. mentioned smiling in the song. <laughs> and then um, once we did it, at that time, I was listening to a lot of hip hop and like rap. I was listening to like Salt and Pepper and like, um, um, who else? Um, uh, MC Light and all the rappers. So when I heard the beat, I was like, this isn't hard enough. Like I want like a rap, like a rap beat. Right. And so I told the label, I said, don't put this out. I said, I want Silent Prayer to be the first single. That was a song I did with Johnny Gill. Right. The and the, yeah, the duet. You have to excuse my dog. <laughs> she barked. Who's dog? I was is that? like, who That's has a dog? dog. <laughs> I, was like, dog? <laughs> I thought my neighbor <laughs> just found his way to my porch. Oh, that's my dog. Sorry. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Services to her house for so the dog. I, um, I <laughs> wanted Silent Prayer to be the first single because at that time, just like now, we were going through, the world was going through so much sadness because we were in the middle of the Persian Gulf War. Mm. And I just thought people needed prayer. Like we need, that should have been the first single. And Gerald Busby, who was the um, the, pres the head of the label at the time, he said, it's I love your smile and I'm not changing it. And I remember crying saying, no, it's the wrong first single. Because I thought it wasn't as hard as like the rappers and stuff. And I wanted it to be hard. And and so they didn't listen to me. They put it out and it was like number one overnight, like in so many countries. I traveled the world with that song, Grammy nominated. Like to this day, it's still getting like, I still, you know, get residuals from like different countries and Japan and Europe and just everywhere. It's crazy. Indonesia, like, yeah. you know, here <laughs> in the States and then Chris Brown, you know. So when Chris Brown did that, did you have to clear that? Yeah, yeah, well, he, what he did was he contact he got in touch with me. Okay. Um, he got in touch with Flex actually uh, okay, through right. Bill Be Bill Bellamy called Flex and said, "Hey, Chris Brown is trying to get a hold of Shanice." And Flex was like, "The singer Chris Brown?" And he said, "No, <laughs> no, the pastor Chris Brown." He was joking. <laughs> and then we uh, Chris talked to Flex and he said, "I just want to get her blessings on the song." And um, Flex, you know, um, mentioned it to me, and I was like, "Heck yeah!" And no um, I, just thought that, I thought that was really sweet because he could have just, you know, ignored me and just went straight to, you know, the process of clearing it and all that stuff. Right. So he had, to go, right. he had to go through Sony ATV because I don't own the master. I wrote, co-wrote the song, but the label owns the master and all that stuff. So he had to clear it through Sony ATV, but he actually came to me first before they went through the process, Did which I thought was really check, sweet. You still get a check? Boys? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yes. I just got. Actually, I just want to ask. Okay, I got to ask. <laughs> I just want to so. ask Cap Award for undecided. So yeah, I still get paid for it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh man, that's dope. Right. Big thing <laughs> and then why? Okay, Even though the third, then I can move on to the third album. Like I said, because I remember you did um, 90210, Saving Forever for You. I remember, I remember that. Mm -hmm. um, and then what made him want to go like so R&B with the, with the third album, 21 Ways um, to Go? What happened was- What made him say, I want to just go, what made him yeah. want to go a different route? Like the manager I had at the time and my family, my mom and my aunt, like we wanted to do like the big songs, like the Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, just real big, you know, records. And the label thought that I Love Your Smile crossed over so big pop that yeah. they said R&B, I'm neglecting my R&B fans. <laughs> so they said, we need to go more urban because I Love Your Smile was too pop. So that's where they messed up. I mean, it wasn't, I felt like, the song didn't have like a, like it wasn't put in a box. Like black people liked it, white people liked it. Like, I don't care mm -hmm. what nationality you were. Everyone loved it. And I felt like we should have stuck with that. And they Johnny, wanted to switch it up. And Johnny, and can we keep it real, Johnny? Can you agree with me or not? I got a huh? question. Um, yeah. They gonna get, some black folks gonna get mad at me. I'm gonna keep it real now. Big pop single, they want you to go R&B. Black folks, we ain't buying albums. We know back then we burn it, give me a CD, we tape over. <laughs> we ain't buying them, bootleg. Just okay. ser seriously. <laughs> so, so that was wrong, but even now, 
Give me that bootleg, y'all niggas. Yeah. Give me that bootleg, y'all niggas. Yeah. That's funny. You know, but um, it was a cute album because, like I said, my, my favorite joint of yours of all times, of all, all the joints you released. Marty. We lost you, Marty. Marty, we lost you. Marty. Please, even um, is is um, Turn Down Lights. Oh, so thank you. So that's one of my favorites. Thank you. And, and, that thing, was on, and that was on the 21 Ways to Grow album. Right. They, I feel like there were some great songs on that album. They just didn't release the right ones. Right. You know, because, yeah, Turn Down the Lights was definitely a great song. And I, and I feel like they could have pushed it better, you know, put a little more push into it. Because <laughs> I had Babyface and Bo Watson uh, produced that, Babyface and Bo Watson. And that was a great song. I loved it. Yeah, I, I like the time to move on to something else. I like the time. Um, when I seen the, the peak of that album for me, I still watch it on YouTube. It's um, a clip that you did, um, Turn Down the Lights, you was on Jay Leno with your mom in the background. Oh, yeah, my singing mom, background, my aunt. Your family, and your that stepdad. Was my yes, yes. That was such a great time. I yeah. <laughs> Thank blew, you. Blew, blew, it, blew it out the park. And then there was like a whole period, it just seemed like, don't take this the wrong way. They just said, she's so talented. They don't know what to do with you because all the other girls at the time, um, they they got a two-piece on. They they dipping in, doing it, being fast. I mean, I'm talking real talk. But um, you, kept, you kept true to yourself. She's like, <laughs> well, you know what? And that's no, what but I'm that's what they said back then. As a young girl in high school, that's what I loved about her. Thank you. She was so different from all the other girls that were coming out. They were showing everything. And she was just so classy. And her voice was just amazing. It, I mean, it made me want to be like her. Oh, thank so, you. I, I mean, really, you're, you're a special type of, you're, you're just a special type of human being. You are. Thank you. I'm I so appreciate glad you that. You sell out and, and, you know, just show yourself you kept it classy and I love that about you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know what's so crazy? The yeah. label, the label said ahead. to me that when I when I was signed to the label, they said, um, there's nothing negative said about you. So we need to create, they wanted to start like a bad rumor. They said because <laughs> they said because bad gossip travels faster than than when you come out with when you talk about something good. It so does, but no. at one point they had me thinking like, oh, maybe I should think of something bad to create and put it out there. So people said we could sell more records and um, we never did that, but they did put that in my head that, oh, God. you know, like bad gossip, you know, travels a lot faster than right. the good. The bad press, they're talking about, um, how long was your mom your manager? Cause like I said, if you're from one, my era, me growing up, um, you're one of the few, because I just remember during that time, even like late, mid to 90s to early 2000s, you, Usher, Ashanti, Brandy had uh -huh. their mom as their manager. Yep. What, what's the pros and the cons for that? Um, the pros is that, and my mom co-managed me with a guy named Bill Dern, so okay. it wasn't just like 100% just my mom. Okay. But the good thing about having your family is that they're going to look out for you. You know, I was so protected. I've never, you know, I've never seen like hard drug, like cocaine and drugs. And, you know, um, I was, you know, and I'm thankful that my mom protected me from all the wicked and negative stuff that's out there. Um, but the, but um, I feel like the labels don't respect when it is a family member, mm -hmm. they they want to be able to control you so they don't respect when you have like a a momager or like you know like a family member managing you because they want to control you and they want you to do stuff you. you know you they'll, do. Try to make a, they'll try to make a rift between you and that family member as well but right I, and i just thank the lord that you didn't let that happen and you allowed your mom to be there and just help you along with your career that was yeah that was amazing so i felt safe like I grew yeah. up in the industry and I look at, and I started at an early age. I could have, honestly, I could have 
turned out a whole other way. Like I look at some of the young kids now, yep. you know, on drugs, having nervous breakdowns, you know, shaking and, their heads. <laughs> yeah, so I'm so thankful I was protected from that. But before you team back up, in, me too. After the um, third album, before you teamed up and um, did your self title album, what happened in, in, in between there? Like, how how was you making money? Just touring and all that? How how was you just trying to stay up, stay up um, above flow? Uh, touring, and then I did Broadway. I was Eponine okay. and Les Miserables. Oh, um, Ooh, so I did really? Broadway. Yeah, so that was that was really cool. It's crazy because uh, Richard J. Alexander produced it, and um, he reached out to me like a couple years prior. And I turned them down because at that time I was traveling with my music and I was busy, 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 busy. And then once everything slowed down, I called them and I said, okay, I'm ready now. Like this is, it's time, you know? So, and that was in the, that was when I was in between labels. And so I had the time to like, just, you know, move to New York and, and experience Broadway. So I did that. That's an amazing Broadway. And then Babyface kept, kept me busy before I was signed to LaFace. He had me singing backgrounds on his stuff, everybody, like a, a lot of his projects, like Mary J. Blige, um, Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Tony Braxton. Braxton. Well, I used to sing on Tony wow. Braxton, Usher, you know, so I was doing a lot of background stuff and doing wow. a lot of touring, uh, Broadway, stuff like that. <laughs> That was great. And the way, you know, I, I, what happened was, I you know a lot of people don't know this. Clive Davis okay. signed me first um, before I got on wow. the face records. Wow. Clive Davis signed me. And then I was with Clive for about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then he said, you know, he said, I have a lot of female artists that signed directly to Arista. Would you mind going over to uh, the face? And I'm like, yeah, LA and baby face, of course. <laughs> You know, and then, um, and I believe the what what sparked the uh, the thought of me going on to the face is after I did bedtime, Usher's bedtime. I think Babyface was like told LA like we need to sign Chinese. Like I guess he liked what I did on Usher's thing, mm -hmm. and then they ended up signing me to the face. Yeah. So that's how it happened. <laughs> and you work with a lot of dope people. Um, yes. First single. Seemed like, seemed like the first single, seemed like um, When I Closed My Eyes, it kind of like took off the same as I Love Your Smile. Seemed like it did. The same, like the same type it, of success. Yeah, When I Closed My Eyes, literally, we broke a record in Billboard. It entered in like 91, and I think in the first week, it I forgot the number, but it jumped like either to 16 or 12 or something like that in one week. And they said that was the highest jump at that time in Billboard like history. Wow. Um, so that was really cool. So I was super excited. I'm like, okay, when I close my eyes doing well, I worked with Billy Woodruff on the, you know, on the video and I loved my choreographers, Rosero and Jamal and everything looked great. And then after when I closed my eyes, that was it. Like well, they didn't right. push, they didn't push the project anymore. And it was like, it was almost like they were onto the next, onto the next artist. So oh, I was like really disappointed because I felt like I love the song Fly Away and I had so many other songs on that. Yeah, I had so many songs on that album that didn't get a chance to to get released. And yesterday, I felt like should have been pushed. You know, did better. you shoot a video to yesterday? I'm about to ask you that. You shot a video. We to actually that? shot the Never video. Released? No, we shot the video and they didn't put it out. Wow. And I think the video that you see online, they you know um, that video was out on YouTube like now. But back when the song was released, that video wasn't out back then. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. So, That's weird. Yeah. Hold on one second. My phone is, my phone is ringing. OK. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Like said, those are the we got Chinese on the show with us. <laughs> so so with that album, how was it working with um Justin and Instinct guys on tour? But it seemed like you was on tour working still, still working. Yeah, yeah. So I, I toured with Instinct. And it's funny because. Honestly, I got myself on the tour because I talked to the guys. I, I had to do a show. I did a show with NSYNC for a radio station. And I remember after they walked off stage, I was like, we were, I was talking to Justin and all the guys. And I was like, man, I would love to go on tour with you. And they said, let's, let's do it. So they, they, I talked to Johnny Wright, their manager. And he was like, we would love to have you on our tour. So I got on the tour and the label 
didn't want me to get on the tour because they said that wasn't my audience. Oh, they and did. they didn't want me, yeah, they said that wasn't my audience and they didn't want me to do it, but I did it. And it was, I mean, we were in front of like 30,000 people a night and we were doing stadiums and it was huge. It was so much fun. And then Justin Timberlake loved my song yesterday. He said that's the, his favorite song on my album. So he, he used to always ask me backstage, can I sing yesterday with you? Can I sing yesterday with you? And I was like, wow. yeah. So um, we, the, my last show um, we did yesterday together. It's on YouTube so you can see it, but it. we got to sing together. It was really fun. Great album. They they didn't push it. Then he's like, okay, Chinese, we don't know what, what to do with you. Then in, in between, Tima, you were independent. Is that hard? Do you feel like you're better independent or with a label, a major label? Which one you like better? I I'm still trying to get used to the whole independent way. Um and I want the I, I wanted to be on the, the, the major label, but when I got pregnant that's when the label let me go. And I had started working on my, I had started working on my project with my second album with them. And um, I got a phone call saying that they were letting me go. And that, uh, you know, they want, me to be, you know, they want me to take time to be a mom for a while. And I was like, but I'm five months already. I said, nobody's, I said, I'm in a studio recording. Nobody's going to see me pregnant. Right. And I literally lost my deal. So I was, I was very, very, um, it was a very dark time for me because I was really depressed about it. Uh, I was really hurt because I, I wanted to have a baby and be married, but I also wanted to keep my career. I didn't want to have to choose one or the other. <laughs> so me doing the independent thing, I did that because I had no other choice. I had stopped singing for a while after I had my baby. And then the thing that kept me going was my fans because I would get on YouTube and I had this one fan that would create all these videos about me and stuff. And I said, wow, I said, people are really, they still really want to hear me sing. Mm -hmm. And that really encouraged me to, to, to keep going. So my husband and I was like, you know, let's start our own label. So we partnered up with another indie company um, called Playtime. And uh, I went to the studio and I was, we were writing the songs like that, just knocking them out. And uh, Every Woman Dreams actually went on the Urban AC chart. I think went up to number 12, I think, on the Urban AC chart. Mm -hmm. So it didn't, for it to be as independent as it was, it didn't, it didn't do it that bad, you know? Right. And I'm still learning, but I think for this era, this, this age, like this time right now, it's great to be an independent artist because of the internet. I love the fact that I can get on Facebook, I can get on Instagram, Twitter, Mm -hmm. you know, and like talk directly to the fans. Like I didn't have that luxury back in the day. No. And so I, I love the fact that I can do that now. And so now people don't have to wait for an executive to tell you if you're good or not. You can yeah. actually promote yourself, put yourself yeah. up on Apple Music, you know, and, and put yourself out there. So tell me, is it more expensive now? Because everything's coming from you. You know, you shoot a video. You um take an airplane airplane ride. You yes. take a client now, it's coming on trip. It's coming on Chinese and Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, well, we had that's why I mean we could have like every woman dreams, we could have taken it to like the next level, but yeah. we just financially couldn't afford it because everything that was spent was coming out of my savings, right. was coming out of my pocket. So I'm just poor, like you're right. If, if I had to travel, if I had to like I had to pay all the producers, we had to pay for traveling, I had to pay the dancers, the band, the this, the that, you know, everything. So it, I just couldn't afford to keep it going. And then, you know, money started getting really thin. And and um, at one point I spent like all my money. <laughs> we, Flex and I ended up losing everything. You know, his show ended one-on-one -on -one and- and hey, Rob, it was Flex just a, too, shout out to, shout out to Flex. And yes. your reality show, you had your yes. reality show too. We all get to the reality. Mm -hmm. I want to know. I want to know about the time we spent all the money. What happened when? Is it true? Um, the sheriff knocked on your door, Chinese, and said, "Take everything out." You got five, ten. Yeah, minutes. like we literally lost our house. Um, yeah, the, the sheriff's knocked on the door. We were fighting to keep our house, and then one day, the sheriff's knocked on the door and said, "I had five minutes to get out." And and then we ended up having about 15 minutes <laughs> to get all our things. And, wow. and uh, yeah, we had to wow. 
it was really hard. But Flex, by Flex being a, a comedian, you know, he he would crack jokes and you know still help me through. You know, when I when I felt like crying, he would still make me laugh, and we 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 yeah. would help each other through the process, like mentally. <laughs> We wow. did a lot of praying. And next God, next year for you guys, it's 21 years. Congratulations in advance. Thank you. Yes. Next month, it'll be 21 years. Wow. Yeah. That's a yeah. blessing. Some Thank people, you. Some people can't last 21 months. 21 days. Days. 31 in. <laughs> then to be over in March. Right. Right. Salute. Salute. Thank you. So, um, so tell me when um, you, you did the album. The independent album you had you had to come out your own pocketbook how, how did you hook up with oprah Ooh. so what happened was i i created a i want to tell everybody about this like i'm a strong right. believer on like speaking things into existence and in 2007 I, and this is before we look before all that happened i did a i had a vision board and i loved reality tv i used to watch all the shows and i said to <laughs> that let's do a reality show this is when i think jessica simpson and her, he had her show back in the With day her husband mm -hmm. right and i said i want to do that you know flex was like no i'm not going to do a reality show because you know people are not going to take me serious as an actor and i'm like no i'm telling you it'll, it'll be great he said no that was 2007 i i put a check on my vision board that said reality show i wrote a check and put a reality show in and i had oprah winfrey's name on there I had everybody, I had a lot of different things on there, but Oprah's name was on that board. So then in 2014, uh, Flex was like ready at that moment. He was like, you know what? We had lost everything. He's like, I feel like we have a story to tell now. And so in 2014, we had a, a meeting um, with OWN and that was our first meeting. We didn't, we didn't even leave the building. They called us. Like wow. they said, don't go anywhere. Like they took the sh they took our idea like right away, and uh, we ended up doing a show. And our family was really living with us in the same house. <laughs> By the way, it wasn't a con. People were like, Everybody "Is that real? There. Like, is that a con? Was that just a con made up concept?" I'm like, "No, we all really lived under one roof <laughs> together." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there anyone um, but um. Oh, there go my co-host right there, Sean. He say hello to my co-host, official Raleigh boy. He has he has the army fatigue on. Official Raleigh boy. Hi. Raleigh boy, say what's up to Shanice. What? Shanice. Hey, welcome to the show. Oh, thanks for having me. Yes, yes, nice to meet. Official Raleigh boy, get your game ready for Shanice. I just emailed it to you. Check check your box. All right. <laughs> what's up, everybody? Panel. Hey, Raleigh boy. Hey, what's up, Raleigh hey, boy? No, bro, what's up, bro? Hey. Let me get back to Shawnee. Y'all do y'all reunion oh, later. Oh, why don't? Bevel, Bevel. Yeah. Yeah. Back to Shawnee. No, Shawnee said that she likes to see. Raleigh boy, let's get back to Shawnee. All right. So, so Shawnee, look. Look. <laughs> I'm gonna to existence. I'm gonna do some background on one of your songs. That's I'm speaking into existence. Yes. Okay. Oh, do you sing? A little, yes. Oh, a okay. lot. <laughs> a little yeah. something. Ch Chinese, when you look at the singers now, I, I, this is what I want to ask you. When you look at these girls now, you mad at me. I interview a lot of singers. I ain't going to call them out because I'm going to get salty. But you can sing circles behind them with, with your eyes closed. Um, that bother you some right. of these girls? Did, did that bother you? These girls can't sing like you and they a zillion zillion records you get pissed or bothered by that wait I, you kind of went in out does it bother me that say it again when um some of the um your female female con counterpart parts other female singers they can't sing like you but they sell a zillion records that bother you or you get pissed or mad i would <laughs> i do no. I I <laughs> no not at all like um and i i, I don't feel like I feel like we all have our own thing, you know? I feel like there's room for everybody. And I'm not just saying this because it sounds good. Like, I literally, I support everyone. Like, I, you know, I, so I know I, I disagree with that. Like, I, I'm happy for everybody. Okay. Yeah. Who's some of you, that's good. Who's some of your girlfriends that we might know that, that you <laughs> hang out with, that you call up and say, girl, let's do this. How are you making out? Who's some of your people's, 
that um I know Shamika Lawrence. Um, you still cool her, Martin Lawrence ex ex wife. Yeah, I heard you and her were like Shemika's real good friends. Of, Is that true? She's one of my best friends. So yeah, I just saw talked to her yesterday. So yeah, we're we're really good friends. But as far as like singers in the business, like uh my husband and I sometimes we double date with uh Lettucey. We're really close to Lettucey and her husband. And okay. um I sometimes I'll reach out to Faith Evans. Uh we're cool. Uh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I have a few friends. Oh, Rasan okay. Patterson is like we grew up together. I've known Rasan since we did Kids Incorporated with Fergie okay. and all that. We did that. We started that. When we were ten years old. So I, I just saw talked to Rasan yesterday. So yeah, those are the people that I that I communicate with. Do you hang out you with Chris Spencer and his wife? Yes, Chris Spencer. Yes. Hi, you're Papa Lise. How are you? Hi, how are you? Yes, Good. I love Chris and his wife. They're my favorite. <laughs> Vanessa. I, I see Chris and Flex together all the time. I always Yes. <laughs> they're always Chris and Flex. They're always golfing. Um, he's such a such a good friend and such a great guy. You yeah. Know? So, yep. I've yes, known Chris that's so, 30 years. <laughs> you've known Chris 30 years? Yes. We, we went to the same high school, but we, we didn't go at the same time, but we went to the um, same high school. I love mm -hmm. Chris. I've known him for a long time. My husband's known him longer, but yeah. he's been a blessing, the blessing in our lives. The last time I saw them was in the Bahamas before, right before COVID hit. So oh. I was traveling and, and, and Chris and um, Flex went to do a comedy show and I was there with H-Town for a concert and they walked into the restaurant we were in. It was so much fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. I bet you Flex will remember that. You said you were yeah, in the, he was on a Flex. Do you remember doing a concert in the Bahamas with Chris Spencer and, and like oh, doing yes. it H-Town or something? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, she said she met you there. Yeah. <laughs> He's it's like, yeah, yeah. He just walked in. <laughs> she said hi. What's up? He said, what's hey, up? Flex. He said she's known Chris for 30 years. What up? They all what said, up? What's up, Flex? What up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, I had to show his face. He can't show his face. Yeah. Oh, can you come and just say hi real quick? Right. Just for <laughs> a second in. Don't think to come say what's up to us. Right. We only need you for a <laughs> second. Come say what's up. This is all about Shanice, but we want flex for a second. For for one second. <laughs> one second. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? What's, what's, hey, what's, 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 what's up? What up? What up? Nice. No, what? I love you guys. The last time been? I saw you was in the Bahamas. Oh, yeah. 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 for a long time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. and I saw you at Tommy T's yes, and everything all yes, the time. Yes, Tommy right? T, yes, mm -hmm. definitely. How you doing? How you been? <laughs> I'm good. good. Well, you know, COVID. Yes, <laughs> right. But, hey, we so here. but we're all still alive, yes, so that's the safe. best thing. Yeah, absolutely. That's a blessing. We in California, though. We on lockdown. I'm in Cali too. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just gotta try to get through it, y'all. We we gonna get through yep. it. Yes. Yeah. We've been through other things, so this is nothing for us. Yes. Right. That's right. <laughs> You're right. That is right. We yes. we we yes. <laughs> and I know I know what you're saying. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, right. Flex. We'll, we'll, thank we're waiting I'm, on I'm, that I'm, um one on one reboot too. We want yes. that one on one reboot real, real soon just, too. I know. I'm, I'm praying for that too. I'm working on we're it. We're ready. So. We're ready. We're working on it. Okay, yes. It's good seeing right. you too. You too. Y'all stay blessed and stay safe. All right. Do the same. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going. I got. I'm hungry. I go eat. Something. No, don't oh, worry about yeah, it. We want Shanice. Shanice. We with Shanice. Don't worry about it. Oh, <laughs> salute, man. I hear you, dog. Hold but on. He's taking a chair. <laughs> he took a chair and everything. Took a chair. Now that I'm like, you know what? He's going to take a chair, Lord. Chinese, you're going to need that chair because we're here for about an hour or two. <laughs> Look, uh, man, for life. We holding for you life. hostage. Here for life. <laughs> official uh, Rodboy. <laughs> so, official Rodboy, you got your game? Yeah, my game ready. Wazo. Hey, right. hey, Chinese, we're going to play a game with my co host real quick. But in the meantime, mm -hmm. I want these people to ask their questions. Let me ask. I'm Viv. I'm Viv. Which one? Ask Shanice. Well, I'll put I really game together. Okay. I really don't have anything to ask you. 
I can't hear you breaking up, you. Marty. I just want you to know that your smile, that was my wedding song. Oh, really? Well, my re-wedding song. Yeah. Wow. My husband <laughs> is in love with you. <laughs> Yo. that, so thank, thank you. you. Thank oh, you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so thankful that I can make someone smile. <laughs> you can. You yeah, always make yeah. smile. When I told him you were on tonight, he was like, oh, I was like, Mm-mm, no, no, that's not for you. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> hey, one of the most uplifting songs of our generation. Thank you, Shanice, for, for giving us that. I love Aww. your smile. Thank Thanks. you. That's a fun. Oh, wait, can I say this? I don't mean to jump back Thank in. Thank you. When you did that with Thank DJ you. Cassidy, right? And he yeah. said, I don't usually do this. And he let you go a few minutes longer. I said, that's right. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Because everyone I love so your smile. Right. It's your smile. Uh, it's man, the, this is the same the person that gave Marty A. Johnson one of his first chances. Uh, uh, Marty. I saw the so interview. interview. I saw it. Yeah, I saw wow, young yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, year was son. that? Look, you exactly right when you did. Um, I was just starting out. Why when you did the Every Woman Dream album about? Oh yes, yeah, like two thousand six, two thousand seven. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. yep, I was young, young. You was young, young. <laughs> I saw the interview. We're I had to young. Google it. Well, oh, so which you, which one asked Chinese? Waza, what's up with your internet? <laughs> oh, no, I, I thought you said Wiz. I, I want to ask you, you know, you said you started uh, real young. At what age did you um, feel like you wanted to separate from the ideas of others and and put your own input in, in your work? Um, you mean as far as like right, doing the writing and stuff like that? Yeah, or like writing it and just giving your view of it as opposed yeah. to someone else's words. Right. You know what? From the beginning, well, I didn't write the first album, but from the, the second album on, um, I always, if you look at the credits, I used to do a lot of writing on the songs. So I was involved, you know, from like with the songwriting and stuff, because when I was a kid, I wanted to be a songwriter too. I was like okay. eight years, I was eight years old. And I would sit in my closet and pretend like I was in a recording studio. And I would, I had a cassette player and I would, me and my little cousin would write songs at eight years old. So I love songwriting just as much as I love singing. Yeah. So I was always a part of like the, the writing process, you know, so yeah, I did get to write on the songs. And I would, I would encourage everybody out there watching, if you have the desire to write, um, and if you don't know how to write, try to learn because being a writer, you make more money yes. being a writer, a songwriter than you do being an artist. <laughs> because if I hadn't written on Chris Brown, you know, on I Love Your Smile, I wouldn't have, you know, been getting paid from Chris Brown. And like those residuals would just keep coming and coming and coming. So I would advise everyone out there to, to try to write on their, their music. Mm. <laughs> It seemed like you get more, don't take this the wrong way. It seemed like you're more, your, your career is more flourishing now. Not saying it wasn't then, like you're still relevant. You're still Thank relevant you. versus um, trying to make a come comeback, so to speak. Yeah, you're yeah. still relevant. Relevant, you did. Thank you. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> the truth is fact. It's, it's receipts. Just check out the soul, the soul train cipher. Don't call okay. the comeback. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he said, I've been here for years. He is. <laughs> <laughs> I know it says 87. <laughs> right. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah that, that? Was actually, that, that was a great way to end to, uh, 2020. Mm -hmm. I was so honored when I got the call to do it and to be on stage with Chante, oh, PJ Morton and, and uh, Stokely. Like it was just such a great experience. And they called me and said, okay, we want you to do it, but you got to write 16 bars. So I had to quickly write everything you heard me singing on there. I had to like wow. write it and yeah, it was crazy, but it was fun. It, 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 was, it was a lot of fun. It was, was awesome. honored that they asked me and it, it was a lot of fun. Nice. Um, we're gonna play, I want you to play a game. It's a, it's a 
It's two tradition on the Marty A. Johnson show with the Fish Robert. We play a game with all our celebrity guests. Fish Robert, you got your game ready? Yeah, you ready? Let me, yeah. let me, explain, hold on, let me explain the game to her. So, Shanice, the game is called Either Or, but we have a, we have a celebrity edition. Oh, my so God. It's, 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 it's a good game. It's fun. I'm, it's okay, fun. It's fun. let me give you an example. We asked you two questions, like, but we're going to do it like, um, we're going to put a twist to, to it while we have you here. This one's going to be more musical for you. Um, for example, Chinese, can you hear me okay, Chinese? Uh-huh. My co going to ask you some questions, like, here, here's one prime example, then you're going to play with a fish rod boy. Um, this Thursday, they're finally doing the verses, finally, with Keisha Cole and Ashanti. Oh, if you had to pick, if you had to pick between Keisha Cole and Ashanti, who you picking? Oh God! Wait, did the game start, or you just you just no, showing me? That's the example. So that's the oh, that, example. Okay. <laughs> so, but no, but what's your answer though? If you had to go with Keisha Cole or Ashanti, <laughs> you know what? That's no hesitation. Hard. Honestly, that's hard because they're both they're different, and I like both of them. So no hesitation. So, it, it's hard to at pick. It. Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah, that's the game. Because here's the thing. I, I I help you out a little bit, then I give you So what if you, you can't what if you can't answer it? Like okay. I can't answer that one. <laughs> I can't answer that one. But it's Sorry. hard. Either or so you're gonna have to answer one. Then 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 I'm gonna help you. Here, here I'm gonna I'm gonna help you better market it. She has a, a, a better machine than Keisha Cole, in my opinion. But but Keisha Cole, Cole has better material. That is my opinion. So who would you go with? You got to pick between Keisha Cole and Ashanti. I like Ashanti. <laughs> I know Ashanti uh, is written you know on. I know Ashanti is a dope songwriter. She's written on a lot of other records. And mm -hmm. going with Keisha Cole. I I'm like them both. That's so hard. I'm like, come on, Ashanti. We got I, you got a whole bunch to do with I, my co-host. Who would you have to pick? Because there's certain Keisha. things about each one that I like, so it's so hard to pick. So I give you two tickets right now on the same day after pandemic. Say, look, one. we're going to see Keisha Cole and Shanti. Who are you going to go see? Good question. Whoever you strongly attract to at first, that's who <laughs> you pick the one that's, that naturally attracts you first. Who grabs the ticket first, Shanti, <laughs> and pull you closer to them as soon as you hear those two? Who okay. Um, who pull you first? I do like Keisha's energy. Who pull you closer? I like that. I like that. She kind of has like a Mary type, like, I love she sings with soul. a lot of like soul, soul. and feeling. Soul. So I love Keisha Cole, but I love Ashanti's hits too. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so hard. Shanti got you it. grabbing the fence. That's hard. This is a hard one, y'all. You got melodies and you got soul for real. You got a little young soul for real, then you got melodies. Okay, I'll say Keisha Cole. Okay. Perfect. All right. Oh. Perfect. Oh. Okay, Fisher Riley Boy. Uh, Are you, oh, and Keisha Cole. Ashanti, I don't know if you know this, but Keisha Cole, she's the friend of the show also. So shout oh, out to cool. her. But Come you on. know what? That, that's hard that you guys made me pick because I love both of them. It's, so it's so okay. that's the game. So Fisher Riley Boy, I love both of them. <laughs> Riley, go ahead and play with Shanice. All right. He's going to tell you some ready? stuff. Go ahead, Fisher Riley, boy. He's about to play oh, the God, real I'm game. Scared. You ready to play? Let's have a good time. <laughs> OK. I'm scared. All right. first, first, Don't be scared. One, first, Don't first be scared. One. First one, let's go. It's uh, We're going to start off with High Five, I Like, The Kissing Game, or Tevin Campbell, Can We Talk? Woo! Tevin Campbell, Can We Talk? All right. All right. Tevin, shout out Tevin. I love Tevin. I love High Five too. I love Tevin Campbell. She <laughs> had, had to think for that one. Yeah. Yes, that's my song. Yeah. Here we go. All right, 702, the girls. Where are my girls at? Or total tripping? 702, where are my girls at? All right. Okay. okay. And I like total too. Oh. This is so hard. 702, those girls. Oh, concert. We're going to go to a concert, live concert. Okay, here we go. We're on a date night with Flex. And he said, well, we're going to go check out one of the two artists, babe. And Flex said, well, who, babe? Who are we going to check out? 
and you say either I'm gonna pick between John B or Donnell Jones. I'm gonna give you a hit back and let you know what I decide. So who you what you who who you who you and Flex going to see when you pick when it comes down to John B and Donnell Jones live? Which one you going to see with Flex? Donnell, you gonna, you gonna I say now. Donnell Jones. All right, we were label mates, and okay. I love Donnell. Okay, okay. <laughs> shout out John B too. And I love John B too. Yeah, man. Shout out John B. And, and John B is from Pasadena, and I used okay. to live in Pasadena, so I love John B too. But I would say Donnell, Donnell Jones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. DJ, shout out DJ. <laughs> All right, man. check it out. Moving on. Before I got, I got Tamia, and I got Deborah uh, Cox. Oh God, no! Don't do it to me. <laughs> and I make it hard. And I make it hard. Now, see, that's hard. That's hard. Uh, that's now, a hard one because they're both extremely talented. They're both amazing. Mm -hmm. It's a new season. It's more pressure. Are you kidding me? I love both. I was just talking about both of them the other day. How how I love both of like I honestly love both of them. Um, we going out, one. Were y'all going out on a girls' night out, and you got to pick one girl to go with, and first girl you pick, which is your choice. So out of the girls, you mean with, you mean as far as like concert? Anything, yeah, yeah, anything overall concert. We're gonna stick with concerts. To me. Or Deborah Cox in concert. Who are you going to see first? They both got many hits. Let's go. Of, check out. Okay, oh, they just... both have a lot of hits, and they're both beyond extremely talented. Um, okay, well, right now, if I had this. to, if I had to pick, if I had to, which I don't want to, because I love both, <laughs> I would say Deborah Cox. Okay. I said Deborah Cox because. Um, <laughs> She has. She gives me that the the feeling of like Whitney, and I and I'm a big Whitney Houston fan. <laughs> so I love she kind of Whitney. Whitney a little bit. Kind of like a big sister paved the way type of thing. Like she did a lot for the music. You know, she did a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's cool too. Shout out Deborah Cox. Shout yes. out to me. And we I love, love to you. me too. <laughs> Above to me, Deborah Cox. <laughs> This now, is so hard. Now let's go here then. Let's go to the homeboy. Let's go see the homies. All right, we're going to the homeboy. <laughs> we love the game. We're going to the homeboy concert tonight. So you got to let Flex know you got to pick between uh, homie Avant and our, our big bro, Joe. Oh, Joe. Ooh. Yeah. Joe, I'm with you. I'm with you. All the way. I'm with you on that one. I'm a big Joe fan. Ooh. Who you going to get against Avant? Uh, RK? I just got on. What'd he say? He said R. Kelly. Who would you get against oh. a Vaughn? R. Kelly. We, we don't talk about, look, he don't exist on this for this show. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Next. <laughs> it was hot, now I'm cold. I'm serious, man. <laughs> Come on. That's, Vaughn, right. that's a king, God. Yeah, he is no, in the music dope industry. Too. He is dope. Everybody you name it so far, they're evenly dope. <laughs> but you're mm -hmm. telling me I got to pick one. Mr. Robert, what's the next one? We're gonna we're gonna go keep it <laughs> on boy strolls. So the next concert you and Flex gotta go to, you gotta pick between Drew Hill and Jagged Ed. <gasps> yes, you gotta pick between, you gotta pick between Joe and the boys or Jagged Edge with the twins. Oh, Jagged Edge. They'll do it. Jack. They'll do Jack. it. The uh <laughs> they'll do it. <laughs> Jacket Edge. Do it. Do it. I like Drew Hill and Jacket Edge. Come on, man. Jacket Edge. <laughs> no, you know what? I, I we just recently saw a concert. Uh, Drew uh, Jacket Edge. Not recently because COVID, but it was like a few years ago. We saw right. Jacket Edge in concert and they killed it. Yep. So I say Jacket Edge. No, they they always, still sound amazing. Oh, yes. Yeah. I was trying I'll to say Edge. Thank you. Shout out Jagged Edge. We yeah. see you for Jagged Edge. I want to see Cisco and the boys back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm you, but we you want know. the original uh, Drew yeah. Hill. That was yeah. crazy. Who the fuck don't want to make it happen? Y'all can do it. Yeah. Shout out Cisco. Body. Okay. I want to see Jodeci. I want to see Jodeci back with all, all everybody. 
Everybody yeah. will love how sis going to feel. Why did you do that? Mm-hmm. To us. Check it out. <laughs> I feel we can. Okay, check it. <laughs> move on. Chinese, we're going to move on to the next. work with. You got producers you work with, and they are uh, also some great artists. We got <laughs> Baby Face on the table, and we got Diane Warren. Mm. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Let's go. We got producers on the table that want to do some work with you. Who you I gonna work go with both of them, and I love both of them. Well, who you gonna pick up the phone and say, "I'm gonna get with you in one second, and then you're gonna tell oh, the okay. next one, one second later. You're not dissing nobody. I it's just more music with Babyface. So I would say Babyface. Okay, okay baby. shout out Babyface. Yeah. Yeah. Baby. All right, cool. Now we're gonna work on going to your music. We're going into your music now. How about that? We're gonna do the third album. The third album you made. We're gonna go between somewhere and turn down the lights. Which one you going with first? Turn down the lights. All right. Turn, <laughs> turn down the lights. Turn down the lights. For sure. Yeah, honey, this thing. All right, sure. cool. This thing. Um, and yeah, I you. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Go ahead. All right, out of your songs, let's go down the memory lane and go to yesterday or loving you. Uh, oh my god, well, mm. I love many Ripperton, so <laughs> mm. I was say loving you. Which one stick out the most? Yes, yes. yeah, I, I would say loving you. you. But, but yesterday would be my second. Yeah, let's, yesterday okay. would be my I'm second favorite. Too. All right. All Stick right. with your first. <laughs> we just wanted to hear what you thought was your number one. So that's what we that's all thought. You remind you. Me of. That's it. That's the hit. That's the hit. Thank you. All right. Starting, starting on, look, staring, staring on Broadway or the Soul Train, Soul Cipher? Uh, wow. That's hard because uh, yeah. Broadway was a big accomplish, accomplishment for me. And so was the cypher. And the cypher was fun, mad fun. But uh, <laughs> I know. He's my But favorite. you know what? I, I, I would say Broadway. Yeah. I would yeah. say Broadway. Yeah. Because uh, um, I was actually the, the first African-American to play Eponine. On Broadway, so that okay. I can honestly, I can, I can always hold on to that, you know. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. On Thank that. you. Right. So I gotta say Broadway. That's cool. Broadway. Couple more. Go ahead, Fish Broadway. All right. Who would you like to work with again going forward? Um, let's stop and see if Justin Timberlake is on the table and Tony Braxton on the table, and she ready to get back on. On who you Just- going with? Just who you oh, going? Yeah. With? Charlene Pridgen. That's it. Charlene. Tony, uh, you mean to uh, to work with? You said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who you plan? Who you? Who would you work with again? First on your choice to either or Tony Braxton or Justin Timberlake. Who you working with? Justin would be a guaranteed hit. I say Justin Timberlake because I okay. enjoyed singing with him so much on stage. Okay. okay. He cool. told you backstage already. I get that song to together. Shout out Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Salute to Tennessee. Oh. Shout out Tony too. Tony, we see you. You know that. Yes. Right. What would you rather do next um, on the, the board if it was thrown at you that, okay, we had another reality so show on the for you, honeys, or we got another independent film we want you to do out of your heart? Independent right. album. A whole album. Would you rather do another independent whole album, or you rather do another reality show? One in twenty twenty one. Which one you rather do next? I think the album because I I need to. It's time for me to put out a full. I've been putting out singles here and there, but I'm ready to put out a full album. There you so, go. That would be dope. I want to do yeah. both, but if I have to pick on both, this game, right. I say an album. We'll make a real well, yeah, you can do both. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. But exactly. you can do it. 
You can do it. How, how you like that game? You like that game? Well, it's too hard. <laughs> hard to choose. From. I love it, but you guys know the hard ones. Like it's like it's hard to choose. <laughs> Put people on front so of you like, y'all give it up for Shanice and playing either or y'all. Y'all give it up Ooh. for. Ooh. Before we leave, tell me about your um the lipstick line. Get your oh, lipstick. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. I have a new lipstick line. It's called Smile by Shanice. And it's oh. something that I've, I've always wanted to do. Even after I Love Your Smile was released, I wanted to put something out back then, but I just didn't know how to create a line. Um, but I love, I'm, I've always been in love with cosmetics. And um, I wanted to find something that was vegan. Taste um, and texture. Yes. So I finally found a product that works for me. And um, I just put out my lipstick line. It's on my website. It's smilebyshanice.com. So check it out. Yes. <laughs> That's a definite. Definitely checking it out. Yes. Make sure you buy. Don't just check it out. No, I support. buy. When I say <laughs> when I say check it out, I mean purchase. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a makeup junkie. So me too. Because I love my own house. I own half the store. I'm the same way. I go crazy when I go to Sephora. I lose my mind at Sephora. Me too. <laughs> me too. I leave her. Which one every every ask Shanice before we tell her good night? Which one ask Shanice? Oh, um, hey, Shanice, hey. how are you? Um, the, last, the last time I saw you was at the Rochester. That's when I met you at the Rochester Summer Festival back in 2019. Yes. And you that's know when I, I met you. you. Um, I think that's why your face looks familiar. Was I talking to you like, like, by the, on the grass? Were we backstage? Like, back yes. behind yes. the yes. stage? And then I was going... Yep, and I was trying to get you booked to do the national anthem for the Golden State Warriors. That was yes. me. Yes. Oh my God, that's <laughs> right. No wonder your voice you sounds so familiar. That's where we Thank met. You. I remember you. Yep. Oh my gosh. And the Golden Thank State you. Warriors so, thing. I remember that. Yep, yep. So my question is, I'm managing some up and covering artists now. I manage um, a, a, a legendary R&B group and then some up and covering artists. What advice would you give them as far as um, how to stay grounded or you know, not to let things go to their head and to make sure that they make the right decisions? Yeah, I would say to new artists, because, um, okay, I've met some of the, the greatest. Like I've, I've been in the same room with Michael Jackson. Like I'm talking about people that are like larger than life, right? Mm -hmm. And they're so humble, mm -hmm. you know? And I, and I meet some up and coming artists who are like, you know, feeling themselves and, exactly. you know, and, you, know what you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, first of all, you have to realize what comes up eventually it's going to go down. Exactly. So you, you have to um, always stay humble um, because just because you're up at one minute don't mean you're going to be there forever. Yeah. That's right. And so exactly. you just have to remember where you come from <laughs> and um, and do music for the love. Don't just think about money, 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 money. You know, you know, do it for the love and the money will come. Uh, and you just have to just believe in yourself. Um, it's not going to be easy. Like some people, we have the Justin Bieber's who put us, himself up on YouTube and became an overnight success. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen all the time. So your journey is going to be, you know, everybody's journey is different. So you just have to not give up. You have to just keep trying, keep okay. believing in yourself and, and be a good person and surround yourself with good people because, mm -hmm. yeah, that'll take you very far. <laughs> that will help I'm you a lot. To be because there for my artists and to be, you know, good to them so that they realize and don't make any mistakes, you know, because it's really hard out there. And it's so yes. different. You know, I used to go out and buy CDs every day. And now this streaming stuff is, is horrible. You need a million streams to make oh, like a $1,000. That's true. A million. That's true. I think they need to change that. I don't think that's fair. No. I don't think you have to get like of over a billion to like make some yes. decent money. <laughs> the only way to make money is touring, but we can't even tour right now. So it's oh, it's been oh. hard on my artists, it's been hard on me, but you know, we're we're trying to really keep focused so that when we get out of this someday that 
hopefully we can go forward and, and move forward. So yeah, well, you know, they're doing like um online concerts now where That's you know people have to them. people have to buy tickets and yeah. you know that you can make money that way. So but yeah, yeah, you're right. We just have to be creative during this pandemic. Yeah. Um thank you. Thank Lavelle, you. you've been real quiet. Lavelle, which one asked Shanice? I know you somewhere in the cut, real quiet, taking notes. Yep. Yeah. Hey Shanice, I just want to hey, say this is a pleasure. Doing? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, my main okay. question, well, I didn't really have a, a interesting question. I would say, but it's really about your travels, um, like the places you've been. I, I want to ask you, like, what is the biggest response or the most, I would say, like most pandemonium-like response or overwhelming response that you've gotten, and uh, where was that at? Um, I would say uh, Japan. Uh, I get a lot of calls to, to tour in Japan, and I remember uh, myself, Coco uh, from SWV. Can you guys see me? Because yeah, we can see you. No, we can okay. see you. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, so Coco, uh, myself, and um, and Nikki from Brownstone, we all did a concert a few years ago in Japan. We did ten shows and literally sold out all ten shows. Wow. And but every time I go to Japan, I get so much love. Like. They all like once they love you, they love you they forever. Love you. They'll treat you like special every single time. So, Japan has been really, really good to me. Thank you for that. That's wild. Yes, and they don't even know how to speak the language, but they love you know our music, love it, and they support it. So, um, that's nice. a great Charlene. What you want to ask, Charlene? Okay, um, my question, um, Charlene. I'm I'm really serious. If you're doing any songs or whatever and you need some background vocals, yes. To Marty so he can get in touch with me because I was yes. down to doing that. <laughs> I was yes, definitely. Look, once the world opens back up and we can <laughs> tour and do something, <laughs> I would love <laughs> that. <laughs> Who would ever think that the world will be closed? No, like this is the thing. I've been such a, a fan of her since I was in high school. Mm. Thank and you. I never in my life would have believed that I would get this opportunity. Thank you, Marty, to even be Boy on too. The Go ahead. You're welcome. Thank you, Molly Boy and Marty A. Johnson to actually get to interview right. him. And not just you, but so many other people that he's brought into our lives. And I'm just so grateful. And I just thank you for joining us tonight. And I'm thankful to be you. here. I'm thankful to be here and I'm, I'm so thankful for your support because I can do what I love to do if it wasn't for you guys supporting me. So I'm just thankful. Respect to you, respect to you, Shani. We, we, knew, we, knew, we knew what you was not gonna be disappointed. We are already knew already. Look, here's the last thing we do before people start fanning out. I don't think they will, but just to make sure. <laughs> I will, I'm sorry. Yeah, you already know, Marty. Okay. You said Shanice. <laughs> I said I gotta get some new hair. Yeah, yeah, my <laughs> life. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So funny. <laughs> it's a lot you have done. You took me through a lot of things that a lot of people has not. Thank you. With that one song, I love your smile. My husband yeah. to be in a whole different area. I put that song on. He's like. <laughs> All right. I love. It gives you a good, it gives you a good you. vibe on the inside. Thank Chill, you. goosebumps. I feel right now we need to smile right now with, right. with all yeah. this going on right in the world. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we need something to smile about. Something. Yeah, we well, here, here's what I need to smile for. Y'all pause for one second. I have, I gotta capture okay. this image real quick. It's Chinese. Hey, Chinese. Before we leave, it's a tradition here on the show. Cause um, we're gonna we're gonna since you're virtual, we're still gonna freeze your full still right here. I need to give a drop for the show. Just shout out. Just say hey, this is Chinese. You're kicking it with Marty A. Johnson and Official Raleigh Boy. Make sure you do that. You can hum it. You can sing it. You can talk it. But it's gonna and be all about you. Official Raleigh Boy. Uh -huh. Right. Marty Make a. sure Johnson. you say Marty A. Official Johnson. Ralph. There you go. Go ahead. You're watching the official Marty A. Johnson and the what? <laughs> official Raleigh Boy. Chill all, all over. Official white boys, break it down to a please. Chinese is Marty A. Johnson and official Raleigh boy. Like Raleigh, North Carolina. Official oh, Raleigh, Raleigh boy. Yeah, Raleigh boy. 
Raleigh boy. Oh, okay. Raleigh boy. Or RDA Johnson. Official. Uh, okay, so it says Raleigh boy. Official yeah. Raleigh boy. Official Raleigh boy. Yep. <laughs> Raleigh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Shanice, and you're watching Marty A. Johnson in the official Raleigh. Boy. What <laughs> <laughs> again? Raleigh, Raleigh, boy. You thought I'd be Raleigh, boy. Raleigh, boy. Official Raleigh, boy. Okay, go ahead. Here we go. Here we go, Shanice. You, um, Marty A. Johnson's show with official Raleigh boy. That's it. Oh, oh, Marty A. Johnson's show with official Raleigh boy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Marty A. Johnson's show with, with his co host. Yeah, whatever sound better to you, co host or with, whatever sound better to you, with, with or co host. Official Raleigh boy. Official Raleigh boy. Marty A. Johnson's show. Okay. I watch? Uh, Marty A. Johnson's show, right? Yep. You're watching the Marty A. Johnson show? Is it the? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is so bad. Yes. You're watching the Marty A. Johnson show with the official Rally Boy. That's it. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. It. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Shanice, and you're watching the official Marty A. Johnson show. Marty A. Johnson show with the <laughs> Boy. Oh, oh, and you're watching the Marty A. Johnson show with the official. What? <laughs> with, that is a shame. With, with his co-host. The Marty A. Johnson show with the official Marty Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, let her do it. Go ahead. The Marty A. Johnson show with the official Raleigh Boy. Yes. With, with not, not the official Raleigh Boy. Official Raleigh Boy. Official Raleigh Boy. Just official Raleigh boy, just yes. not the okay, not the Marty and Johnson show. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Marty. Marty. That's the show with Marty. With with Marty. 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 There you go. That's it. With That's official it. Raleigh boy, Marty That's and Johnson it. show with so official Raleigh boy. That's Marty it, right? Marty and Johnson show. Fixes. Okay. Here we go. This is gonna be the one. All right. Okay. This show with the official. With official, I can't say the official. With, With official, official Raleigh boy. Okay, yeah, I can do Raleigh. this. This isn't that long. Official Raleigh okay. boy. Got official it. Raleigh boy. With official yep. Raleigh boy. That's it. Marty Johnson Perfect. show. With official. With go. official. There you go. Let me see. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Raleigh boy. Yeah, with the official with rally. official rally boy. That's it, Question. bam, perfect. The Marty yeah. Johnson show with official rally boy. That's okay. it. That's it. Boom. <laughs> okay. Marty Johnson show. Okay. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Shanice, and you're watching the Marty A. Johnson show with official rally boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like two hours yeah. Yeah. Factory. yeah. Oh. Let's get it going. This guy's out. <laughs> That's amazing. This is a live show, though. I couldn't get it. Right. That was amazing. You did that. Right. Official Robert, yeah. what we need? Official Robert, what you need? Let Chinese know before we tell her good night. We're going to tell you thank you first off. Thank yeah. you. We need to before we go. We appreciate you. Oh, I thank appreciate you, so much. you too. Oh. I appreciate you too. Thank you, Chinese. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you for your uh, smile. Thank you for being thank here. You. Thank you. Thank you. Smile. We salute thank you. you. Thank wow. you for your smile. Thank you for your Bird, man, we just, uh, yeah. we Can we give you, you a raise really. really. right now? We love, we love you. We love you. So look, love we, you got, we, hope, we, we hope the best for you, Flex. We love you, the family. Support y'all. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, yeah. We're here if y'all ever need somebody to reach out to, man. We we that's love. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. The lipstick, my... lipstick line, new music is when? When's new music? I'm working on that. Um, I'm actually gonna get back into the studio. So I'll let you know when that's done. Okay. In the meantime, I'll just not, in the meantime, I'll be dropping singles until I can put this whole thing together. So 
What's your lipstick line, Shanice? And what's it's all your social media? What's all your social media? Moundbyshanice.com. Perfect. And, and make sure you follow me on Instagram because I follow you. Follow me back okay, at I'm Marty A. Johnson. I'm going to follow you on Instagram. Hey, Shanice. Please, please uh -huh. tap into the Boom Sound Factory. Thank you, Shanice. Okay. Please, you with it. Man, I love you. Y'all did it. Uh, I love you. Thank you. Love you. Y'all over, Shanice. Shanice, thank you so much. We really Woo! appreciate you. Keep Hi, doing it. We you. salute you. How was that? We wasn't too nosy, were we? <laughs> what did you say? I said we wasn't too nosy, were we? <laughs> oh no, no, it was fine. It was totally fine. I had a lot. Of, I had, I had fun. I had a great time. We had a blast. Thank you. Well, thank, we had, thank you again. Was it me? Once some new music drops, when your next project coming on, we're reaching out because we want you to come back. Yeah, I'll be back. Thanks, Marty Johnson, official Raleigh yeah. boy. I love y'all. Good night. Thank you, Shani. Good night, Shani. Thank you, Shani. Good night. 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 Whew. No doubt. Y'all don't even understand. Yo, I had to put on my no sweat still. deodorant today because oh, God. it was a lot. Y'all don't it get it. It was a how lot of pressure. It was a lot. This is only this lot. only episode two. This is I only felt, episode two. Nah, Shanice, y'all. It was a lot. Get your pacemakers out. Well, yeah. Woo. And y'all don't, don't need no sweat. pacemaker. That was wonderful. <laughs> <wonderful. laughs> what do you think of? <laughs> what do you think of? I love you, Auntie. Oh, that's a good. That was a good interview. Yeah, that was, was a good show. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good energy. You like how I changed the um the scenery? Like how I changed it up? Like how I changed yeah. it? Yeah. But bro, yeah. hold on. I didn't even know she was married to Funk Mr. Flex though. Flex, <laughs> it ain't flex. Look, uh, 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 What's happening? Well, sure, what's that, Cause you're real quiet in the background. How was Shanice? Oh, that was lit, man. I was always taking it in, man. It's it's like you don't know what you're gonna get. You, you never know. know what you're gonna get here. Yeah. No, but I told Marty at the beginning of the show, then I miss Bill. I said this show is gonna be an epic motherfucking oh, show. We gonna have yeah. us a good damn time, and that we yeah. did. I done cried. Okay. I done laughed. Me too. I had you to didn't walk see, off. You didn't even see my tears coming down. I Hold on. I had to walk off. Hold on. I that cried them on the live. You didn't see them. You got to rewind. <laughs> go back and see them. It was real. Thanks for being smart. I had to go and regroup. We were definitely right At least, how do you like Shanice? I, I love you like Shanice. She's beautiful inside and out from the first moment I met her in New York till when I used to text her all the time and everything. She's just a beautiful human being. Her and Flex are both amazing. So I met her one time right. at the mm -hmm. NBA store in New York and she bought oh. me a hat, but I didn't want to. That was so long ago. <sighs> It was that moment though. It's full circle now though. That's amazing. It, it is. That was a beautiful think, think I'm She's, just, I think she's I'm never joking. fake. She's never phony. She's just herself. Never. And that's what we gotta love about her. No, y'all. Like I declare this. I'm putting it in the universe. I'm gonna sing background on one of the Charlene. And I'm I got fake. you. I'm putting that out there. So, Wait. I want her to do a song with Jay Chosen. Yeah. Okay. Charlene, you got Make this. It Make it happen. You're only an email away. Yeah. Oh, I'm, gonna text, I'm gonna text her. <laughs> Hold on. At least she was this on the grass so with her. She remembers you. Hey, yeah. Where'd the Marty go? On, I'm right here. Where'd Marty go? Oh, there you go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so look. So uh, did y'all see? 
for real, did y'all see Marty ass disappear earlier? Oh it's my like, goodness. A couple times. Chair, chicken foot. Hey, yo, Marty, what, where you at? You scared the hell out of me, man. You were sitting in the chair and then that's not even ass, right. Your ass vanished. <laughs> No, I'm good. I'm right here. It was Miss Shanice and Miss Bill. We were like, "What? Yeah, wait, 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 wait. I was like, what happened? He disappeared. Look, this was before awesome. we leave. Thank before, you. Before, before we leave, look, I got some records from last week I didn't play yet. I was getting ready to say, you do, doing I was for that. So look, you let doing me tell a tapping? You. Yep. Oh, and by the way, this show is brought to you by and you the podcast. So make sure you spot, make sure you subscribe to your oh, page. So say that again. Called, it's called N U underscore the podcast. Okay. Okay. Marty, you got fifty-seven shares already. Can you well, put it in the, um, the love. Can you put that name into the um box for us? I, for I will. I will. Yeah. I will. Just in a minute. So look, if you're an artist, I want you to tap into my inbox. Salute to Chinese. So I definitely appreciate her. So this mm -hmm. I'm doing tap in a little differently now, because like mm -hmm. I said before, um, I've been reading the comments. Mm -hmm. I've been reading what I had to say. They say I don't give give artists enough time. They say I don't give them a fair chance. <laughs> However, I'm gonna I'm gonna try a, a different format of tap in. Since I have a panel of people each week, they get three strikes and they're out. So it gotta be three cuts. Okay. So for example, if I play if I play one of um Wazo's records, uh -huh. three I have to give it a cut. But me and Fish Rod Boy cuts that that trumps everything. Okay. Okay. So, so y'all got that right? We yeah. must have to cut before it's done. So, twenty twenty one. Okay. But I got, I got to switch the game up. I'm going. I'm, I do read the comments. If I see the cuts in the comments, I'm going to cut. Okay. So, um, say it like you mean it. Put some respect behind it. Get if you got some. If you got some confidence, go in the bathroom and get it. If you need to go find it. <laughs> I'm finna <laughs> cut the fuck out of somebody. Let's go find my yeah. Oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dangerous night. Get out. Okay. Um, I, gotta, I, I, got my my leather. I gotta get up for a second. Oh my god. I don't Wait. even care. My mama sent it tonight. Wait. Guess what, mama? If it ain't the fire, you're getting cut. Right. All right. So so look. Don't be scared. All right. So if you're an artist, tap into my inbox. Let me know if you're feeling it. Um Again, I don't want a long paragraph. I don't want to know about what you ate. I don't want to know about what you if your dog eats human food. I don't care. <laughs> if your music hot, <laughs> let it speak for itself. So if you're an artist, tap into my inbox. Mm -hmm. It's called Cold World with a K. K-O-L-D. Oh, thank you, Chinese, for the follow. I see you. Thank you. So I'm watching it. So if you're artist, Okay, me um, get the other stuff on the background. My, my, my fault. So let me know if the music's too loud. Mm -mm. Yeah, you know they know the reason. Don't look for Thomas in the sea. Alisa, you're not feeling it, cut! But when you go, no. It rain gonna let me blow up. Charlie, is it too loud? It's making me so sick like it's a COVID But you can cut it off. <laughs> I got a cut. I need another cut. She can cut it off. I want to hear it a little bit more. Lavelle, you cut it, Lavelle. Turn it up a little bit. I'm there. We say cut. No, turn it up a little bit. I can't hear it. Wilder got a cut. Great, but I still be confused. Rest in paradise, the soul and pieces hit the news. I'm tripping out on Nickelodeon, the line of clues. Fazzing out, don't want to do. Pick me up, I'm sinking too. Don't hit my Mac, cause shit, you know that you was there wrong. If you're an artist, tap in. Back up my face wrong. No thug or baby, just a lonely child that been gone. Just shake my head, smoke on. Fix your face, it's on through. No need for looking around. Don't lean on peers, neither. It's a stand up in the field. Far about deepest creepers. You want to be a tug guy, but you never tie your sneakers. Hold on. If you're an artist, tap in. Hello, who's this? What's wrong, Charlene? 
That Wait. was shit. Paul, Paul with that. No, you yeah. had to give him a second. Um, Charlene? I did. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Two Charlene, seconds. hold it. Hello, who's this? You got to speak up, but um, I got to remind you, come with that rah-rah, I got something for you. Who's this? This is Blaine Goodwin. Blaine Goodwin? So... Mm -mm. Uh... Marty. Okay, did you send to my inbox? Okay, how about you send to my inbox at Marty A. Johnson, then then you call me back and you can defend your record. <laughs> Don't talk about it, be about it. Somebody <laughs> need to call and defend that when you just played. Cause, um, okay, Lavelle, what do you think of um whole world? <laughs> Charlene says somebody need to call Cochran. <laughs> somebody need to but, call and- Charlene, I'm gonna get to you, Charlene. The, no, don't do much. <laughs> the word, the word, it, the mix is kind of bloody, but the words, what he was talking about kept me in tune for when, you know, the, the song was playing. That's why I didn't cut it, because what he's talking about. Elise. Hey, Elise. Where's Elise at? Hey, Elise. Um, Lavelle, it, 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 was, it was bad production, but Lavelle still trying to give it a chance. Um, you put just a... Of the camera, but you must put on lipstick board. What'd you think of it? <laughs> if you're an artist, tap in. Mm -mm. At least what you think of it? Unmute yourself. In the meantime, I'm Viv. What'd you think of it? Cold oh, world. Sorry, I didn't even know I was muted. Oh, it was cold. Oof. I already had two Red Bulls say I don't need a third one because I was sleepy. <laughs> it was cold. Okay. I just wanted to hear more and nothing came out of it. So Okay. It wasn't oh, I was Okay, really let me see. It. Pedro, I, I see needed you. to hear more. Well, um moving on. Who's next? Tap into my inbox. Oh, don't forget, next week Coolio is coming back. He's definitely gonna tap what? in. Lord. Coolio's coming back. I don't I know like four Red Bulls for Coolio. Hey. Um I don't know. I love him. Hold on. Pick song. Okay. In the meantime, let's see what Pedro's talking about. Pedro, call me at 1-877-627-8990 and talk about your record if it's hot. So again, um, Charlene, how many cuts do I need? You need three. We got to give them three. And if Marty or Raleigh Borg say cut, that's a done deal. They don't get yeah. no chance. Well, yeah, if you're, if, you're, if, you're a, if you're a dope artist, don't get in your feelings. Just try try with another record. Um, Pedro, call me at the number on the feed. Let me see what you're talking about, Pedro. Mm -hmm. Don't bore me, Pedro. Tap in. We was only equal and right. They wanted to believe in our likeness. They couldn't like us more excited. Marlo, you ain't feeling it cut. What about confinement? Could you tell me why it's so easily? Okay. The description. What is it? They got me looking like a menace. Why are you so suspicious? Is it my pigment? If you only feel it cut. I'm doing it like this. Cut. I can't to fall off. Charlene, I heard you. you got one. <laughs> I got another cut. Give me the, hold on, please. I'm going to give it a cut. Let me tell you why. I got two cuts. You got three cuts. It oh, ain't even the song. I, we can't hear it. Okay, we hold, hold with that. Um, I can on, hear I got, it. I, I'll get you, sir. I'm going to get you. Let's see who this is on the line. They rating. Hello, who's this? Pedro. Oh, Pedro. Are you the type of artist that getting your feeling that people ain't liking your record? Or are you gonna try to um defend it? Or are you gonna take the good criticism? Mm. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Most I don't know. Most artists like tell them I don't like they don't like the music, they block me. Hopefully you don't get in your feelings. Let's see. Hey, I'm Viv. Pause one second. Um, this is Pedro. Pedro um just sent me the joint. And he went a fire by it. He said, this is fire. Um, I saw Pedro, but um, no. Why you wasn't feeling the Pedro wants to hear? It wasn't, it wasn't captivating. It didn't grab me. If you're going to oh. come on at first 10, 20 seconds, you need to pull me in. 
it's, okay. it didn't pull me in. Oh, uh, Pedro, your joint was two minutes and 40, two minutes and 46 seconds long and 30 seconds of it was an intro. I don't know yet. Waza, what do you think of it? Hey, Waza, what do you think of Pedro's joint? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you know, I'm a lover of the words. So at the gate, that's that's all I was I was into. I was locked in. Oh, that's, Charlene, what do you think of Pedro? Pedro? No, he, no. It didn't do anything <laughs> for me at all. Like, his deliverance didn't do anything for me at all. Okay. It didn't pull me in. Okay, Pedro, where are you calling from, Pedro? Oh, shout out to the, um, the QC. So is this, so, okay, look, I never, I never heard of you. Okay, let me ask you a question, Pedro, real, real talk. Um, is this your first time ever tuning into the Mar to the Marty show? Is this your first time? You, you have, when? Hold on, hold on, don't take this wrong way. Refresh my memory. Because um, I knew a lot of people and I remember people from my, my when I was 19 years old. So refresh my memory. If you don't remember, yeah, refresh my memory. good. No, it don't matter. You gotta be outstanding. On this show or the other show? It wasn't memorable. Okay. What? Was you was you in studio? Oh, you did it on Zoom, not in the studio. Okay. My bad. Let me say this remember. right here. When it comes well, to look, that production, oh, yeah. what speaker it come out of? The production got to be to a standard, man. Everybody, you your shit got to speak up. It don't matter what speaker it come out of. Right. Get the quality together so it can talk. I can't hardly hear none of y'all. He said, "Hey, this same Pedro, the um production is not good." So look, um, so look, Pedro, let me ask you a question. A, 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 a real question. Let me ask you a question, Pedro. Ser seriously. Um, um, Sean Garrett was on our show. He sold 100 million records. I had another guy, Troy Oliver. He sold 125 million records. If you're an artist, tap in on my inbox. Hear me out first. Um, I have Coolio on. He sold 75 million records. He's tapping in next week, and he wants he to look for an artist to work with. Um, <clears throat> if if um if they say play your hottest track that you got right now, would you play this? I would. I would just send. Oh. You, I would just send. I would just send. Actually, I just got done with that. That's not even done. If, I you listen to it the two. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all was rating in like the first thirty minutes of if, that song is not even done. It's just a beat, really, and like a uh, minute, like a minute and some change. Of like my vocals, but that was just like fresh, you know what I'm saying? I have like studio stuff that I can do. Okay, okay, Paul, Paul, okay, Paul, Paul, my question was if you, well, I was talking that talk on that, so oh, you know, I don't think like people listen to words or they listen to beats, Pedro, listen to the words, Pedro, wow, the host trying to ask him a question, wow, let me go to the next one. <laughs> Wow, Pedro, I'm trying to give you, I'm trying to help you out. I'm invite you on next week. You out, out talking out. to host. Yeah, that was a timeout. Yeah, then look, we just had a um Grammy nominated artist. She even recommend take the criticism on. Don't talk over people. Right. Goodness gracious, who's next? Constructive criticism. Pedro rated. Pedro didn't want to listen. Pedro, mm -hmm. Julio was a Grammy award winning artist. I bought them, invite him back on. Wow, Pedro, don't call me back, Pedro. It's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, who's next? Just take the constructive criticism. I might invite you on the show next week. We got someone, let me move on to the next one. All right, Mr. Um, Godwin, I see you. Come on, y'all, y'all got, y'all got, stop you blowing like me. It's okay. Just right. blowing it. Come on now. All right, Mr. Godwin, I, I see you. Call me here at the show, let me see. If you don't like it, cut. Call me up. Don't get in your feelings if you don't like it. Play your hottest shit. I don't care if it's 50 years old. Excuse me for cursing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the 
the production? Okay. Okay. Wait up, did you make it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Elise, any cuts? Charlene? I actually like this. this is oh, let it play. Let me see what you're talking about. <laughs> You. Okay. Blaine Goodwin. Yeah, man. Tap in. Unreleased. Charlene. Oh, tap in. I like this one. Mm -hmm. North Carolina. Oh. Yeah, I know. Oh, this is part of the reason why we're here. We're going to get to y'all. Bro, this, this is the breath of life. This is the shit. Mm. I like this one. Me, boy, I even like this better. I'm going to wait for some fire. Yeah, I could clean my whole house today. Boss, are y'all feeling it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Leaders of the new school. New school. Shout out to Blaine, man. Check him out. I can tell alone you've been feeling too. I'm still in love and I won't hide. If you want to tap in, I might invite you next week with Coolio. Hey, Blaine, you got a hit, man. I know we talked to <laughs> Yeah, that's. You can cut it. Know, I, know, I know what you're planning. I said, we don't heard enough, though. Marty, you can cut okay. it. Okay, okay. I'm going to get you. Lord, hold on. Is, is today jumped out Marty's throat day? Goodness no, gracious. No, I'm sorry. Y'all are the one today. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Wow, what's I it? I appreciate you, Marty. Call the me out. No. Give, come, give me the business. I appreciate you. Right don't now. feel like, not Hi, for Elise. Elise. Don't feel like that. Hi, Elise. Hi, Elise. Hi. Elise, what do I do to everyone today? People getting their feelings today. Okay, yeah. I'm not, okay. Let me put. Where you went? Let me put this cipher out. Um, we, you can play I Michael like Jackson, Billy Jean. That's forty years old. Ho hold on, Elise. Hold on, Elise. Let okay. me let me let me give some people some some education here. Uh, right. Sorry, artist. Not not my panel. If you're an artist, remember, good music don't have an, an expiration date. That's right. Some people can hear Diana Ross in the Supremes. If that's your age bracket, some people can play Stevie Wonder. Hell, you can play New Edition. You can play Biggie. You can play In Vogue right. Hold On. That's right. But hold on. Right. Totally. Good music don't have an expiration date. Don't call me to defend your record. Let your record play. Right. I yep. don't care how old it is. Don't give me no explanation. Just send it to me. Tap in. Can I say right. this, Marty? We got all types of different people on this show. Right. We're going to give you the business and the truth. Can I say you this? Say you, ma you may not think that somebody watching you right now but they are. Somebody's watching you tomorrow. Somebody watching you the next day. Relax. If it's for them, it's for them. Exactly. Like you, Marty A. Johnson ain't playing. We're official, wow. official rally boy, though. He's sleeping. Nah, that's and my goal. They better know when they get on Marty's show, they're going to This is what I'm get saying. The business, or they better do what they got to do. Look, I get listen. inboxes, and it's like boom, 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 boom. Look, y'all kill my inbox. So, sorry, Pedro. If you've been on the show, if I don't remember you, don't sorry. get in your feelings. Look, um, relax. I remember. I remember guests from shout out to my old show, The Music Lounge. I remember guests from season one. They come litty litty lit, <laughs> and that now fourteen years ago. I remember them. So look, I think I, Pedro. I remember you now. I had to look through the pictures. Sorry, I remember. I remember. <laughs> I had to, I had to refresh my memory. But anyhow, move, moving on. If you want to be a guest on the Marty A. Johnson show with our celebrity interview, side note, I'm about to play the next record. Don't just hit me up when you see a celebrity on the show. My guests on panel, they're celebrities also. Everybody's a star. Don't just yep. kill my inbox when y'all see that. So who's That's next? That's right. Um, no. Hey, Lavelle. Yo, yo. Play me something from Boom Sound. If you want to be 
You just heard it. You just heard something. Oh, that's Boom Sam. Oh, that boom Sam. Yeah, man. Blend Goon. That's what I said. All right, all right. Y'all didn't even hear. I said, like, hey, man, we had a note that just, was good. Like today. Say, put it to my inbox, uh, Marty. See what, see what's in there. Hey, I didn't want to, you know, put too much bias in the air with it. Okay, <laughs> okay, you pause then. Okay, you pause. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Um, let me see what Jamie's talking about. Why Jamie's here? All and right was, now, right now. Okay. Charlene, you got a little salty. You, you remind me of someone else a few weeks ago. You talking about good night in the inbox? What's your problem? You no, remind me of somebody else. No, I really got to go. I really got to go. I got to get my son. That's what I was saying. Oh, I love y'all, and I'll catch y'all next week. But I got to oh, wow. go. Good night, Bye. Charlene. All right. I, y'all know I don't be getting off like Bye. that. Love, love you. Night. <laughs> love y'all. Have a good night, baby. Bye, Bye Charlene. Hey, sweetie pie. Love y'all. Oh, we fade black. Call me up, y'all. It's a new season. At least if you ain't feeling it, cut. This sounds like New York. <laughs> Say they name, 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 say name, say they 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 in elementary, they took my favorite oak from me. He was seen out and all he wanted was his TV. He died with it in his hand. It's gonna be a guest on the show. Call me up. I got a cut. No, no, no. I didn't say cut. I didn't say cut. So they protect be they mission statement. Take your last breath, racially hated. Innocent or not, you see they claim it. Just the execution of the bad made them. They target our youth to keep our future fate. They taking our men to make sure they can't train them. They leaving our sons out here mentally naked. But our ancestors made us strong, we're ready, don't play them. We were forced to stand alone, your product, you made us. You thought that we were gonna just sit back and take Call it. Call me up here at the show. Up in these streets screaming. Now say they name, cause they matter. It's our movement that leads us. Say they name, say they name, say they name, say they name. They assemble a change, we ain't letting them die in vain. They should be put on the stamp, given a holiday. Put the street of school in their name. Something just say they name, say they name. Happy birthday, Martin. Say they name, say they name. They assemble a change, we ain't letting them die in vain. Bro, that had a... Oh, this is all right. Wazo. Two Wazo. What we doing, baby? We got two Oh, that's what. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Don't show him no more, Marty. Turn it down, man. Marty. Let me ask the lady. All right. Wait. Okay. That was you, Wazo, or somebody you? I got rap yeah, second. No. Um, All okay, right. what, do you, what do you think of this track? Nah, I kind of I felt it. I was bouncing. I didn't hear him, okay. but it was good. It was a good track. I didn't know it was you. I saw you kind of singing along with it, so I seen you was kind of familiar with it. Okay. That's why I said cut. Yeah, that okay. was my verse. <laughs> okay, at least what do you think of it? At least now I'm not gonna ask. I might ask LaBelle and um, someone else didn't. I'm going to see who this It was good, though. I, I liked it. I was popping along. Working over there? Who you Bye doing, so. What's that? What do you think of that track? Or, or you had earbuds in washing dishes? No, no, no. I, I don't have earbuds. No, I liked it. I liked it. I was actually getting down to it. Was, it was a good track. I liked it. Wow. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. La LaBelle did I think Lavelle, I think Wilder put some stimulus money on there for good, better production. So, um, <laughs> no, what do you think of it? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Wilder got energy. Marty. Yeah, it is Marty. It's not man. Like, you know, every word <laughs> that he puts on the track, you can feel him. I might single. need to. Yeah. He and, know uh, he's okay. I've heard need. this before, too, so I'm already a fan of the song. Mm. Okay. Wilder, well, let me get to you in a minute. Huh. Hello, who's this? Who's this? This is Lane Goodwin. I'm just saying thank you for playing my track. 
Oh, Blaine Goodwin. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Oh, no, it, 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 was, it was a nice look. Um, you white or black? No, this is the show. I mean, I ask questions. No, it, it's a smooth joint. Um, it's good, it's good production. Um, mm -hmm. who, who produced it for you? We can't hear her, Marty. Yo. You gotta speak up. You gotta speak up some. Turn your stuff off in the background, please. You're doing too much. Oh, so and where you say you're based out of um Blaine, where you live? You say Charlotte? Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. You have a good you have a good talk game or no? That means you can give good conversation. Sometimes, sometimes I'm, sometimes, sometimes I'm, sometimes I meet artists. Um, they have good music, but they're they have, they're boring, or vice versa. Vice versa. Um, you're not you're not listening. I'm about to give you a compliment. And in a nutshell, no artist has the full package. No one has no one has the full full package. They don't. So if I invite if I invite you on, would you get overshadowed from like a Lavelle, a Wazo, and something like that? Would you get um overshadowed? Because the music sounds good, but um, you know what I'm saying? You can get litty litty lit with us. I think I'm gonna leave that to Lavelle. I'm not Lavelle. I'm Marty. I'm not Lavelle. Oh, hold I'm not on. Lavelle. Right. That's that's, you gotta, that's a Marty. You got you got to you got to sell your own self. This ain't Lavelle. Sell yourself. Okay, you, yeah, I um, the well. Okay. Hold on, Marty. Then went to fade the black, ain't it? Let me say this though. That little oh. guy, Blaine, mm -hmm. one of the dopest. Okay. Okay, Blaine. How about this, nah, Blaine? I'm born. I'm selling. I'm I'm selling confidence in energy for one fifty a pop. If you need some, I can give you some. God told me to know. Hold on, Marty. Stop the battle now. What? <laughs> what? Um. Okay. At this point, I. I told Rob. I told Adam good night. He's on that rah rah still. So look, how about you come back next week? Wow. I, I'll send you the inbox. No, the invite. Stop my damn uh, video. All right. So hit inbox me, and I'll send you an invite for next week. What was that? What? What just happened? I don't know. <laughs> um, I gave my announcements in the beginning. Remember, I said, you can oh, my God. Hey, Johnson show. I'm sorry. If what? you don't like it, bye. It's Lavelle, the Marty Lavelle's a. Cool. Johnson show. Lavelle. Hey, Lavelle. Yo. Wait, where he at? Hold on. Lavelle. Where'd he go? You the, Lavelle. Didn't you and I have a good conversation just you and I three weeks ago about something? And I'm going to leave yep. it at that after the show. Yeah. Okay. You need to make that call, probably. I'm done with that situation. Who's next? <laughs> That'd be nice. What's what's up? What's next? All right. Um, let me see. Okay. Hey, um, Elise. Yes. If you don't if you don't like Izzy stuff, I don't care if her mom's here. Cut. That's right, cut. Cut. Just, okay. Yeah, I don't care if her mom's she here. Cut. Something? Cut. But you should have did a whole blind one like you did last week. But I'm pretty honest. I, I'm pretty Yeah, honest. cut. Because I don't like a lot. You know, if I don't like something, I'm cutting. Yeah. Spin two, then I get back four. I'm a Lavelle, can you hear it? Lavelle? Too loud? Like it's good? Like I flip three O's in a row. New Lexus, two X's, baby. Elise, it's good? Nicole, it's all about new beginnings in the past. Yeah. Leave them behind you if they start acting the ass. Baby, I'm getting back in my bag. And I'll remind you, this is stick up for the cash in the bag. You heard? I'm the one that makes them move their feet. Tap got in. Your girlfriend looking like a bootleg me. I ain't got time to worry about who hate me. I don't care if she's in the comments. Cut, you're not feeling it. Is he call me? I'm going to go on mute. 
they don't, baby, that's just how it is. They love who you was, hate who you are. They don't want to see you raising a bug. Cause they can't get over Push back cause they can't get closer On a high like I can't get sober Yup, how you mad cause a bitch trying At least you feel me, at least Same place you should want celebrate That's why my circle small These bitches hella fake Plus I got a short fuse That ain't okay. only bitches is fed away You ain't fucking with Izzy And you ain't fucking with Stephanie I was born with it That's something they can never take Greatness in my bloodline Never fold one time Roll a blunt, unwind I be chilling but deliver when it's crunch time I roll through collecting fans like a bus ride If it's there to get, I'ma get it And now I don't even sleep Cause I don't wanna see my dreams before I live it You dig? Bitch, I'm fly without a cane farm Name farm, this is something you ain't safe from Why is your cut? Hey, why is it you feeling it? Bitch, it's something they can hate on And I ain't mean to hurt these niggas feelings But I did I got these bitches jealous I just get it how I live They wonder how I'm winning Cause I'm falling, I don't miss I got it and you don't Baby, that's just how it is Mmm that's just how it is. Is he go for the gusto and the fan with me? Yes, most of the cutthroat. It is no mistake that we here. I'm moving shit with intention. I'm executing the vision. Uh, yeah, bitch, I'm fly without a cane from name from. This is something you ain't safe from. Top down, with my shades on. I did. I got these bitches jealous. I just get it how I live. They wonder how I'm winning because I'm going. I don't miss. I got it and you don't, baby. That's, that's just it. how it is. That's just how it is. Um, your your bias. Um, I said your, that. <laughs> I'm gonna mute myself. Look, watch me go on mute. Okay. <laughs> you see, that's good. Okay. Um, let me talk with the um ladies first. Hi, um, Elise. Hi, Elise. I'm like a couple more recognize right say good night. Um, so here's my opinion. I'm not really into the swearing, especially the women swearing kind of music. But towards the end, the hook was really catchy. Like there were parts of it that got me going, but other parts of it I would never listen to. So I'm kind of half and half on it. There's parts I like towards the end, but I don't like the 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 swearing. Of yeah, the whole yeah. Um, Jamie, I'm going to get to you. Hey, Lavelle. Hey, 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 hey Lavelle. Hey, I'm a fan, um, man. Okay. It's, it's Wait a minute, get... Lavelle. Hold on, Lavelle. Um, different demographic. Um, at least saying, be a lady. Be a lady. She cussing too much. Um, or she just in, in um, artist mode. Hold on, please. Um, what do you think of um, how it is? Man, I... I don't think she missed yet, Marty. So, in my opinion, I, I like the flow switch, how some of the instrumental switch, and you know I mean, I, I, I can't get the saying that you know, but I'm kind of desensitized, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, Laval, you already know. <laughs> hi, hi. Okay, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. What do you think of um? This is how it is. <laughs> is it go hard, man? It's going to go super hard, bro. But I don't want you to just say that because I, I, you do go hard. I, I think you deserve hear. Like, Hello, like, how are you? Hey. hey. Where are you at? I'm home. I'm home. I, got, I couldn't get on today. Too much going on in the morning. Okay. Um, I already asked your mom to just be honest with me. You pregnant? No. You sure? No, no, no. Positive. That's a positive. It ain't no pregnancy going on. Okay, well, I, I got, I got that, that I can well, tell I you asking. that. I, I, I'm, I'm, I can confirm that. Okay, oh, no, that's that's one of my best friends. I got two of them, my son okay. and my daughter. <laughs> okay, a lot going on. Guess what? My house caught on fire, and I stood on show night on Tuesday, still smiling. Now, nah, but to, so yep. is he? Um, Lavelle said he likes it. He's a fan. You switch it up. Um, it said you're winning right now. But um, who's keeping the baby? All these records you're making. <laughs> she got two great grandmothers. Okay. Right. Okay. Good night. Mommy is on the phone. Right. Get out. I hear the baby in the background talking about mommy. Is yep, everything he good? Is? <clears throat> are you going? Are you going back to the studio this weekend or no? Yeah, I still have a bunch of songs I'm trying to record, so I'm, I'm working. I'm not coming to break. 
I own the spring. Well, we'll save the hot, hot stuff for Coolio and Coolio. You know, Coolio's coming back on next week to tap in and all that for artists. Because Coolio and I have a private conversation after the show. I'll tell you about that later. Marty, uh, while she on the phone, can I tell you this? She thought. What'd you say? I'm big. She don't feel well because she had her little problems. But she Ooh. thought I was going to embarrass her because well, Shanice was on the line. And that's me and her father's song. So I told her, I know I'm not starstruck. I love Shanice. So she was kind of scared. I understand. Well, Izzy, well, Izzy, look, um, it's past 9.30. I'm telling you good night. That baby need to be in B-E-D quickly. (laughs) I'll talk to you next week. Bye. Woo. Love you. Woo. If your heart is tapping, I'm about to go to bed. So I'm going to do my job. Um, um, if you're an artist, please, please tap in. Um, don't get in your feelings. This has been the Marty A. Johnson show since I started. The format's not changing. Sorry. Get out your feelings. Some of y'all are older than me. Uh-oh. Oh, Marty, what happened? We lost you, Marty. I'm Marty. right here. Oh, you see yeah. me? Okay, now yeah. we do. Um, hey, at least where your people that before I leave? I'm, I'm taking good night at 10 o'clock before 10. I, I can't I, I would say that again. You were you were um you went in and out. Where, where's your My folks out? music at? Um you want yeah. me to go well, uh they're on the east coast, so um I we got some new stuff coming out soon. I'll be yeah, able to get that to you. Joint. So yeah, if I can play before I go. Oh. Okay. So it's, it's okay. Not, who it's, you want me to send? Right or just chosen? Either one. Either one. If okay. How should test, I send it? Okay. In the meantime, I'm about to play um this this artist real quick. Um, let me do it real quick. At least it's a live show, please. I know. I was trying to get the the music for you, but I have to do it. It's on my phone, and I'm on my phone for Zoom. <laughs> but they'll see me on the boom. Okay, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play New Life. I'm gonna play New Life. That's what it's called. If your artist tap in real quick, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to bed. Not bed. I'm getting off here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at, in 15 minutes. So <clears throat> if you're hot, I might invite you on with Coolio next week. I got a spot available. <laughs> Lavelle, you'll be here next week, right? You already know, man. He's one of my favorites. What's going on? New life. I kind of enjoy this. I kind of. If you're not feeling it, cut. All right, all right. Yeah. Happy on my grind, money on my mind. Got these diamonds all up on me, so a nigga shine. Shit, I won't sweat at hoes, but I'm sweating you. She says she got a man. What you trying to do? And we can take a trip. We can make a flip. Why I look down on you, shit, we can make these chips. Uh, let me introduce you to a new life. Why you with a nigga that can't do Any right? cuts? Do right. We can have some drinks in the moonlight. Brighten up your life like a moonlight. Why you with a nigga that don't do right? Why At least cut. Do right? No, I can't do it. Party all day, party all night. Baby, we can if that's the hook, cut it. If, if that verse oh, comes to the next bar, okay, all right, never mind. Tap in. Marty? Baby girl, got a chance, I got a chance too. Dumb is like, damn, I can't stand you. But you know she love me and she never let me go. Call me daddy. If you're not feeling that cut. Told you boys before, I'm the coldest one you know. Colder than the polar and the poker nose with the fur. I got a lot of love, they control my own emotion. We toasting overseas, overseas, on the coast. Calling emotion, thank God you was chosen. Leave it with me, tell your man it is over. You are good girl on the bad days. It couldn't be you on a bad day. Pull up, Bruce Wayne. If you like it, tap in. Call me up live. Queen, I'm not king. 
Marty. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah, you, you, that's enough, but uh, yeah. Why Zo even said that's enough like three minutes ago? Speak, speak up. Jamie, nah, what do you think of it, Jamie? No, nah, it, it won't. Um, it wasn't. I like, I like how it started. I like to like all the way to like halfway. So I, I say it's a decent song, but I don't know if it was the sound coming from. I don't know if it was something messed up, but it, it had a couple pauses that I ain't. It okay. kind of threw me off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Levi, what you think of it? It's all right. I said I was gonna cut it if that little bridge he had was the hook, but then the singer came in, and, and saved then it became the hook again. And yeah, it was a segue it. to that, and it was it saved the song, gave it a little bit more breath. So I was cruising through it. Hi, you're not feeling it. Stop, stop being <laughs> nice. Y'all being very generous. They no, are, you, like, not I, me. I'll be real, man. I ain't, I ain't like the end of it, but I don't know if that was because of, of the of the service or something. I don't know. I ain't like the end. I like how it started and all the way up to the hook. Okay. So look, I know I ain't gonna hold y'all. So how your profile is in this? How you think of tonight? The first two, I'm Viv. You like the new setup? How I switched it up? I both done this yes. last week. Yeah. You like this better? Yes. So basically, I can um. You know, I got to switch the game up a little bit. I'm a little Three late. snaps. Three snaps, Marty. You the whole plug. I, I tried. You the so, whole so you, plug. <laughs> so, well, thank you. So you you part of the squad, too. I told you, um, I'm I'm going to be doing, I'm going back on the road, but I can't be traveling like Waz doing them. I got to do my limitation. Yeah. <laughs> Moderation. If I said so y'all need so masks, if y'all need masks, hit me on my inbox. I'll send it to y'all. Mask and hand sanitizer. I ain't asking for no money. Yeah, just it's heavy rotation. I'm just letting y'all know you're gonna have Izzy face. That's, that's, on that's, your gen, mouth. that's genuine love. That's <laughs> right. Appreciate it. <laughs> right. So so Wazo, Wazo, I have a request from you, Wazo. What's that? Um, I ain't calling you out. Uh, Marty. Um, you about to be on you about to be on my SHIT list too. Um, you don't support me as much as everyone else. Um, boom sound support. I hey, I, I, look, don't do that, Marty. Um, I have literally been look on the road. I'm, let me, let me, let me, let me get me let, too. I got three jobs. So, so have I. With two Boom. kids <clears throat> every day. You right? Look, I'm on the road too right. with two kids. Um, Jamie, can I finish? Look, look, look. You made it. Jamie, let me finish, because when you was on the road, you still hit me up. I still try to plug you in with someone, and I had two kids in the back seat. I still try to do my part, that's but I'm not saying. That's I got I got to call you that's out, because, um, that's hold on. Hold on. Look, she, she in the comments, too, because I'm about to replace Izzy with her mama, because um, Izzy, Izzy don't tighten up either, because <laughs> Izzy don't support either. Her mama posts, seriously, because... Seriously, and I don't even go on Facebook every day, and that's a shame. <laughs> Look, you have multiple platinum people. Well, I don't know about you. I still, right. I still rock with you're you. Right. Though. You're right. You gotta, tell, you gotta tighten up. Look, you're right. I'm just, I'm just saying. I wasn't gonna let you in. <laughs> I was trying to give you a chance. <laughs> but Lavelle, how do you like Chinese? She ain't my, may not be your demographic, but how you like it? <laughs> now, she ain't my demographic, man. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for sure. Um, my mom's definitely a big fan too. I would say mm -hmm. it was humbling. Every time you get a, you get a, a heavy hitter up here, man, I just gotta take it in. I don't have too much to say. Right. I really don't have too much. You know what I'm saying? Even I mean, I try to think of a question that's interesting at least, so it's something I can keep with me. But other than that, I mean, I'm just thankful to just the presence alone. So as far as Shanice, it's like, I mean, what more do can you do you want? You know, heavy hitter after heavy hitter, and then flex pop on the screen. Oh, everybody going crazy. <laughs> right. No, but no, uh, but but she she's definitely good people. I want to say on a side note, I can do it without people, but you guys bring the good vibes. That's why I want people like you, you boom sound, you I'm Bib now. Izzy, I don't know yet. 
I feel like you. At least I'm. At least I'm telling her. But she wasn't feeling good tonight. No, but um, the past, <clears throat> the past couple of weeks. Okay, is your mother call you out, Izzy? Is your mother call you out? So take notes, Izzy. No, yeah, call her ass out. Izzy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. Um, Lavelle and I have private conversations sometimes. Okay, Izzy, you. I'm gonna say you're a good friend in the show. You're one of those artists, Izzy. I hate to say this, I'm gonna have to call you out. Izzy is one of those type of artists, dope on record. Dope on record, but she get overshadowed by another artist that have more personality. Seriously. Can, can I, I, I don't wanna like put her out there or whatever, but I am her mom. My baby has always been the quiet one. When I heard her rap, when I heard her spit, no, but but um, that shit was different for me because I'm like, who is that? Yeah, you know what I mean. Honor roll student, full full scholarship. She might kill me for saying this. Sorry, full scholarship to Howard University. That's how dope. Of SAT second in New York City, Perfect. the highest. So her she. She ain't like her mama. She ain't like her daddy. She her own her. I, I like that. But only thing I'm With saying different females is a little bit harder because you gotta right. have the females, um, because because they go mommy down there, Puerto Rican girl, there's um just tell her yell a couple more times, they're gonna go with her versus like I said. And this she is dope, yeah. she dope on record, but sometimes you gotta come in and look, you came on the first mm. show and you was on it. Lavelle, am I am I right, Lavelle? Or am I wrong? Thanks, Aww. man. Thanks. <laughs> okay. That's I'm just say, my personality. Like look, I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say one more thing and I'm gonna get off get off get off her. Yeah. Okay. J just like the okay, prime example. So, sorry, bro. I've been I've been doing um um the virtual show almost a year now because the pandemic. Nothing I can do about mm -hmm. that. But anyhow, someone came on just now and said I did a virtual show. And that's sad that I said I don't remember you. Yeah. If I don't remember you, virtual? On a virtual. That, right. That's a problem. When, when someone yeah. and someone did my other show, that I did your other show, I remember you. That, that says a lot. Yeah, I was sitting there with you. Right. Yeah. Now, now yeah. with that being said, what's next for Boom Sound, Lavelle? Yeah, we got a few things in the pot. Today, mm -hmm. Clara, um, Clara Pratt, she's a friend of the show. She actually dropped a preview for her single, Close to Me. It's January right. 30th, 30th out of the factory, man. So... You know, big ups to her. Happy birthday to her. Um, as far as in London, at London Hot Radio, we got a battle going down between Dirty F. White and TVM Killer. It's like a virtual battle. Um, it's called Booming at the Factory. So it's a segment, a new segment or whatnot that we got going on overseas. Also, we got uh, shouts to Blaine Goodwin. Um, he's a co-founder with me with Boom Sound, man. Uh, we, sh we started this a year ago. Um, and at this point, man, we got a course we're building with a company he's working with called Livestock. So, you know, we're building a course. It's going to be online. It's going to be a video, probably an audio book as well. Shouts to Rock. He's the owner of uh, Live Star, brother of Arnold Taylor, you know, SCMG. That's the baby's manager, if you don't know him. But he's big mm -hmm. in the Carolinas, man. So I'm just blessed to be a part of, you know, what's going on. Of course, the show here as well. Um, There's probably a few other things in the pot, but those are the main things going down at the factory right now. And I'm going to call you at this. You know, we got some words to talk about. <laughs> Wazo. <laughs> Um, Wazo, um, like I said, I do see a huge improvement. Do you have a sponsorship or something? Who's sponsoring you? Wazo? Wazo, yes, who's sponsoring you? Because I've seen a huge improvement from the past three months. No, I don't have like a, an official sponsor. I just roll with my team, man. Okay. Did you reinvent your team? You're not listening to Yes Men no more? I mean, seriously, I'm not being shady or nothing. No, you know, we just, we, just, we just select different tracks and we try to approach it differently. And, okay. and sometimes, you know, you got to make it more this way, that way, just showing the versatility, basically. Okay. Um, would you, I know I'm Viv is coming. And the, would you like to come on next week with Coolio? Thank you. Yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> you know, the right too, wow. I was rocking with him. Okay, but look, um, just just support us more, please. I would appreciate it. And um, how can they follow you, Wazo? Team Wazo everywhere. Let's show me some love. Give me a play. Holler and say, hey, man, I'm here.
Okay. Oh, Lavelle, what's your um, Instagram and all that? I'm sorry. No problem, man. Y'all check in the factory's Instagram at Boom Sound Factory, and you can hit up my personal Instagram at Boom Sound underscore Lavelle. Mm -hmm. So, I'm there. What else you be doing besides being a glam mom with babies and all that? What else you be doing? Well, I cater. I have my own business. It's called Vivi's Comfort Cuisine. That's what I do. I cook. Mm -hmm. Cuisine. Like, what, what, what's your specialty dish? It's no specialty. If you are a cook, you have no specialty. Okay, real quick. I'm going to tell you my dietary restrictions. Y'all don't judge yeah. me. I'm going to tell you, like, you get someone like me, um, I, someone that's very extra. And I, you say, I'll just tell you this. I'll say, well, hi, Ms. V. My name's Marty. I'm looking for a special dish. Um, I don't eat pork. I don't eat beef. That's fine. Hold on. I don't eat pork. I don't eat beef. Um, I get I eat no dairy products whatsoever. Mm -hmm. What dish would you tell me? And I don't like dark well, meat. Well, that sounds like my diet right there. I don't eat beef. I don't eat pork. I don't eat dark meat. I don't eat dairy. Okay. So what dish would you cook up for me? If I just said there at the back. So right there, I would do you a, a seafood combo. Mm -hmm. I would give you a nice little, first I'll start off with a shrimp scampi. Being that you don't eat dairy, I would have to switch out the heavy cream and make, you know, it's almond milk. Okay. Or, you know, I, I cook. I'll send you a couple of, um, yeah, I cook. Okay. Oh, no. I'm coming. I'm coming to New York, you know, I had my mask on social distancing. I had to sit at a table and get samples. <laughs> I'm actually going to be in ATL. I can actually send you samples. I actually do that. I send them Ship them out, coal, FedEx, one day, and when? you'll get it. We gonna be froze up. Tell me when we gonna be there. I'm going to ATL. I'm going on the 28th, and I'm gonna oh, this be month. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be there the 29th to the 31st. Are you serious? Real talk. No, you want? Okay, my sister is turning 60. I told you I'm a peach okay. apple. Okay, so I'm gonna give you my I'm contact. Get Don't you. get yes, yes. Okay, so I'm only yes. coming for the weekend, in and out. I'm yeah. coming, on, the, I'm yeah. coming on that Friday. I'm leaving on um I'm going Sunday. Thursday. I'm leaving Tuesday. I just decided to stay over so I could see some of my family. Okay. But so yeah. look, perfect. Lavelle, what Ooh. you doing that weekend? Okay. Seriously, is it's this month, be, right? Is it yeah? Is it gonna be at ATL? Okay. Okay. ATL shit. You make you make it not a party, this weekend, but... next weekend, right? Look, I'm saying I see y'all my little reservations at the hotel I'm staying at. Okay, look. We'll talk tomorrow. Pause. Yes. Look, that can be hot there. Oh, um, Lavelle, you want to go? What? Hell yeah, okay, bro. Perfect. If we're making this part. I'm, I'm there. We're going to talk tomorrow. Where's your Instagram and okay. all that? I got to go. My Instagram, Instagram is, Instagram? she is his wife because I am. Yes. Okay. Okay, dude. <laughs> yeah. Is she space is space <laughs> his wife. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's me. Oh, look, Facebook how about this? Brathwaite. Okay, perfect. Um, oh, so they won't get the same last name. That's my daughter. Oh, perfect. That's my real life. <laughs> perfect. Facebook. So look, um, let's let's talk tomorrow afternoon. I give, yeah, I'm gonna give my number and give it out. All right. Um, we, we'll talk, I'll call you tomorrow. We'll talk. Okay. No, I'm definitely right. coming. Hundred percent. All right. This All right, Marty, yeah. Yeah. I might tell one of you boys to come too. Okay, look, um, follow me on everything again. Shout out to Shani, shout out to my co-host, bye yes. Char bye Charlene, and um follow and you underscore the podcast, please. All right. Thanks. So um th thank y'all so much. Lavelle, I'm gonna call you in about 20, 15 minutes. All right, bet that. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Waz.